Hi, welcome to another episode of Will of the Meeple. This week we're going to be talking about our characters for our Pathfinder 2 campaign. I've actually created two characters, a rogue and a swashbuckler, and I'm undecided which to use at the moment, so I'll be talking about both of them tonight. So let's uh, get going. Have you guys all decided what classes you're having? Yeah. I, do I need to change from last week? So I've got a cattle as being a sorcerer or a storm druid. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a druid, but I'm an animal druid now. It doesn't make much difference. Animal druid. Yeah, I've got a pet. Shall we take it in turns to go through our characters on a screen share if you've got the export? <laughs> while we can... Bit lucky, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Who wants to go first? So just before you guys start, one one of the things that, that again, I've not seen the app because I didn't want to blow my mind too much, but I'm assuming, having spoken with Graham, that this app allocates you so much money based on your class and then you can choose what to buy with it. Standard. Everybody gets the same. Everyone gets done 15. Ah, right. This oh, kit so is what you can buy, which is what I did. Yeah. So in the real book, there is kits that you can get for each character that has like predefined stuff specific to your your yeah, class, yeah. as it were. You just yeah. add that and it adds everything. And it yeah, they oh, right. Easy. Okay, so you've done all that. Yeah. Yeah, you buy the kit and it just like equips everything for you. It's pretty handy. I've not, I've not. Yeah. Where and, does it, I can't even see where it says your money. Gear. You've got a gear. Oh, gear. Yeah. you add stuff. Oh, I've got 15. Right, okay. Yeah, that's what everybody starts with. Yeah. But I did um, change one of the things. And one of the other things as well is over next, over this coming week, just have a think about what sort of life aim your character might have, because there's certain bits where we've got downtime. Where, say, for instance, one of yours, I mean, the example it used was um, a druid. A druid, for instance, might want to buy a piece of um, either cursed land or built up land and choose to turn it back into nature or wildlife land, that kind of thing. And based on what, what you guys want to do, I can sort of tweak bits of the downtime. So one of you might want to own your own pub or something like that. So as long as, as, long as you have a think over the next week, from what I understand, this module, uh, Age of Ashes, should take us on average between 6 and 12 months and take us from level 1 to 20. So there's a whole range of stuff in there. Small thing then. To get yeah. So, but obviously, if things don't work out, if we think you know after a couple of months it's not for us, kind of thing, don't worry about that. Uh, I've not had to shell anything out because I've managed to get all the books free off certain websites. So I've got all the PDFs and stuff. So there's there's no financial outlay to any of it. Nice. Uh, but yeah, just have a think about what you might want your character to <laughs> aim towards. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Have you not yes. Read it? I thought you'd bought the main book, though. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't count. I don't count that as an outlay. I've got two books, but I've I collect old editions of Dungeons and Dragons books anyway. So I've got like a good dozen or so different manuals from different D and D. So yeah, th these are just going my collection anyway. Well, Plus, me some bought them for Christmas. Books you've managed to get freed up. Yes, the adventure books. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I think Age of Ashes goes across six different adventure books. So, wow. wow. Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll let you guys go back to what you were doing. Oh, well, Carl's got a quick question, because he's got a bird. What about it? He said it would be great in caves. <laughs> well, It'd yeah. be good for sniffing gas. I was going to say that, yeah. So, this, yeah. What did they use? Canaries? You just hear a guy, so it'd be Kyle. Your bird's dead. <laughs> It's a shame, <laughs> but at least you know there's gas. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, it is a canary. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not really. Well, no, bird, I, birds can fly in caves. Of course. Because my character's not very cave friendly, but whatever. Oh, uh, oh I am. There's oh, underground. There's... <laughs> yeah, the good thing about this Age of Ashes, and I think a game with all, they call them adventure paths. Uh, they've all got a mix of everything so there'll be some dungeons, there'll be some outside stuff there'll be uh, round town stuff there's sort of a mix of everything so you might find that there's a few weeks where you think, oh that was a bit crap my bird never got out of his cage etc 
or or there might be some spells that only work outside that don't work in the cave. Sounds but, good. No, yeah. But then there's also be times outside and it's it finding a bird and comes into its own. I suspect with a bird, if I remember back to my Dungeons and Dragons days, when you're outside, they can fly above and it gives you additional perception because you can see things in advance and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it can peck people's eyes out. No why. I wanted to call it Wee Pecker, but Kyle was like, no, it's been... <laughs> Kyle and his Wee Pecker. No, he's gone. <laughs> I, I've exported my, uh, my my character sheet and I'm just looking at it and somehow it's it's got the wrong weapons on. Don't know why oh, I've, I've heard about really. these weapons. Where have you exported it to? I mean, they're not the wrong, wrong ones. They're, they're all the ones that are on there. They're just like the ones I've stowed away in my backpack. They're not my main, my main ones aren't actually there. I don't know what it's done. Is it's it, not, it, really is it not the most recent export then or something? I don't know. I don't know. What... The one it's put the top of the list is one I'm not even going to use. I don't know why it's done it. It is a bit rubbish. I think PDF is the worst file format ever. Just going to put that out. It's not <laughs> ideal, is it? <laughs> I hate it. I, I, I hate PDF. Form, form PDFs. You know when someone sends you a form. To... Yeah. Oh, I had I had a feedback form to fill out in PDF the other day. I was like, right, great, thank. Like an actual feedback form. Crazy. I did it, but I did moan. You moaned as you were doing it. Stupid I did. PDF I forms. grumbled. <laughs> put my fist up. And shook it around. I'm just trying to save my thing to. Have I sent you my PDF version of my thing? No. Shall I do well, that you can now? Log in as you you've saved it to your drive. I haven't saved it to my. I do I save it to my drive? What's that about? You just open it. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. save copy. Are we going to see the swashbuckle then? That's why um, I'm interested in. Is that Will? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to explore them now. It's just. All uh... oh, right. Have you have you got still got two that you're choosing from? Yes. Yeah. So basically, I've got two characters, and I don't know which to use at the moment. So I'm still still thinking about it. Um, I've just exported it now. I think. If I can get to I, can go if you want. Um, I don't like how zoomed in this is. I've just exported it to my OneDrive and it's not sinking. <laughs> That's why you need Google Drive. I'll fear. I, I will because I'm a cleric, so I've and and my my line matters. That's fine. As as I mean, probably the easiest ones are chaotic and lawful. You know the difference between those two. So yeah, oh, I've just gone for neutral. Good. Yeah, I always used to go for neutral because it was a lot it easier like just a to out. play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you might find that we hit issues where you've got someone who's lawful good against someone who's chaotic neutral or something. But um, we'll see how we work. We'll see how those work out. But you're lawful good. I look. At that, yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. Either that or local neutral, but right. yeah, that's what I think because he's okay. got an, an anathema, which is stuff you can't do. So, I think that's what you need to know about. Um, yeah, I can't use metal, so I can't use like steel shields or daggers or anything. Um, it's just on the and I don't, oh, yeah, and I can't have um, I can't like destroy natural habitats and stuff, yeah. Or attack wild animals unless they're attacking me first. And what what happens if you do any of that? If you break the athema? Well, then I like if I think it's up to the DM. But if I do it enough times, I like I like lose my druid powers and I have to go on like some quest to go and get them back. Yeah, it's a bit like, like if you get speed caught awareness. feeding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like <speed> awareness, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I pay a quick time. I have to sit three hours next to a load of chavs. Yeah, next to a load of chav druids. 
<laughs> two, two people on the spe speed awareness course did it from the bed. No. no. One was in a dressing gown. No. I forgot it wouldn't be physical, would it? Yeah. Oh, you saw the recent right. one. Today. <laughs> That's how we do this afternoon. Oh. I, I went on one, but I had to go to Preston and... Uh... One, one of the people that was on my table, she was a driving instructor, so we just got everything right. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, carry on, Belfie. Uh, yeah, uh, nomadic background, not that, that matters to anyone, but that's what he is, some kind of forest guy. Um, I put as much as I could into wisdom, because that seemed to make sense from what that I That sounds wise. Yeah, yeah. Sound wise, very good. Not very intelligent, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at self boss with dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I did wisdom, maxed that out, and then I read online that it's good to have constitution because then you don't die. Um, and I just did dexterity. I can't remember why I did dexterity. Just it's for your it armor class. Oh yeah, yeah my armor helps class. with stuff like that. And your reflex saves. Yeah, and then I just put one on intelligence because it gave me an extra skill. That was the only reason. Yeah. You so. you will you will find that there's, there'll be certain things that happen that that benefit, say, someone who's very dexterous. You know, something yeah. some arrow might go off. And it'll be a case of you need to roll against your dexterity, so you'll find that the likes of Will, who I assume has got high dexterity, will be able to dodge that better than than you. But that might be because you've chosen to go down the constitution route, and rather than dodge the arrow, you're quite happy to take the damage from it because you've got more hit points, etc. So take it to the knee. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, speed 25, which isn't great, but that's going to go up over time. There is a spell I could get to increase that, but I haven't got it. But I could get it level 2, I suppose. The, I there I... is... Oh, I was just about to say, there is... I was reading some of the, the actions, and there is a lot more actions than we've, we've never really used before. I was speaking to Graham, and there is one when you're... Um... Oh, I'll see if I can find it now. When you're generally exploring, so the, the way the game is split up, and there's various modes, obviously... The one that that's got the most detail is when we're you know in encounter mode and we have to roll for initiative to see yeah. who goes first, etc. But when you when you're moving around stuff before you've actually um... oh, yeah, Carl's gone. Yeah, before you actually. Uh... I don't know what happened with that. Yeah, before you actually get into that mode, you're in what's called exploration mode, and within that, there's something called hustle. And that allows you to move double speed for your constitution times 10 minutes. If you choose uh, to you could move at 50 for 140 minutes, which is your constitution times 10. Uh, so yeah. that that's will help. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, them, them feats you were talking about, Kyle, you, everybody can get a general feat called Fleet. It gives you five extra feet and been a half elf or an elf you can get one called nimble elf which also gives you five, five uh, feet. Uh, i don't know what feet i chose i, I got natural ambition which did oh some... yeah which allows yeah to get you another another feat is it gets you another yeah. feat for your class that doesn't it that was it yeah so that, that I... reach spell there i think reach spell. so that's really good because it increases the range of my spells yeah and and again on that how does everyone feel about the idea that once we go into initiative, you all work in isolation? <laughs> Rather than just all sit there before anyone moves and said, Kyle, you do that. Graham, you do that. AK, I'm going to do this and then do yeah. it. We just say, right, Kyle, you go first. What are you doing? And you might say, right, uh, I'm going to run an attack, which will accidentally crush AK's hopes of casting a fireball at the monster because you now have run straight up to it and the fireball he was going to cast is now going to hit you as well yeah I suppose if it's all it's just something to think about like six seconds then you wouldn't Cal, really have time uh, will you on mute by the way oh okay um, uh, yeah I was just saying because it's all happening in the space of six seconds 
you wouldn't really have time to discuss what you were going to do anyway. You just all just no. do it. So if Carl does run in front of AK's Fabio, then that is probably what would happen. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there, that's there probably is, a good idea. But what about, what about communication? Yeah. Well, I think it should be natural, shouldn't it? So it's almost like it, if it was real, like that's where the role playing comes into, it, doesn't it? It's like yeah, it's yeah. Like doing it. it's, it's because it's turn based, though. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky, you know. If somebody shouts something to you, you'd, you'd shout straight back, wouldn't you, in a fight? But you know what I mean? If it's turn based and you have to wait for your turn, <laughs> yeah. yeah in, in effect, it might be a bit, whoever's away, come last yeah. in the perception rolls. They could say, I'm going to shout to Kyle to not do it, but Kyle would have already done it in effect before that shout happens. Yeah. So, we'll have a think about it. I just I just don't want to get to a situation where we go into a room with monsters and it's 20 minutes before we do anything because we're saying, right, you do that, I'll do that, and then you run in and do that, and then if you cast that spell, and the yeah, idea just... is you've just, you've just been jumped by monsters, what you're doing quick. Yeah. I think if you get the jump on them and you know there's some monsters in a room, you can sit and discuss that before you what, go in there. What about a like a time limit on your turn? So, yes, yeah, could do that. Something like that, I don't know. Just a suggestion. Yeah. We'll have a think. Just some, something else to keep in mind. It's just something to try and keep it more sort of fluid, isn't it? Just not yeah. Not working everything out like, like we did in... Um... <sighs> The other thing Descent. we played. Descent, yeah. Yeah. Because that was like, oh, we, we kind of we did it, and then it was like, oh, that didn't work, let's do it back, let's change it back, you know what I mean, and all that, and it's just like, just try and keep the flow going a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully, okay, hopefully we'll, get, we'll get a natural one anyway, won't we, because we'll all know our characters after a bit and know what to do when things happen, hopefully. Right. Yeah, and th there is there is an option you see within within your actions to defer your turn. You can say, actually, I don't want to go next. I'm willing to let other people go first. And the reason that's there is for that very reason. There might be something you want somebody else to do first before you do your bit. So we'll we'll have a think. Like I say, we'll, we'll be a few weeks before we think. You know, should we start changing it or anything like that? Yeah. I think I think at least in the um, in the when you just explore a mound, that should just be like free for all all motion. That yeah, just go, oh, I'm going to go do that, and then other people react or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's um, about here. Yeah, that's about it. So do 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 skills. I can't really remember them. Uh, medicine because. Why not? Wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. Nature, because he's a druid. Religion, mm -hmm. for some reason. A bit of stealth. Survival, which is decent. A bit of thievery that came from somewhere. The just that's just, yeah, yeah, that's just because of the uh, re, uh, oh. your, your dexterity. That's all that is. Yeah. yeah. Bear in mind, you're lawful. <laughs> yeah, so. Unless I'm thieving off some, I don't know, some guy who owns a timber mill. <laughs> yes. Uh, to, to build a house for beavers, because yeah. the trees have all been chopped down. Yeah. Then he's the sworn enemy of all druids. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that. They're not very interesting. Um, so I got, I, I quit the kit, the druid kit. Uh, but it came with a uh, spit. Oh, why am I losing connection all the time? I can still see it. Oh, it came with a spear <laughs> and a javelin. No, a set of javelins, which are throwing weapons. But because I had the shield feet, the um, what was it called? Oh, it's down, isn't it? I have a shield, shield block, block feet because I have that. I, I thought, well, it's no point having that and not being able to block. Where did you get that from? Is that your cla as a class thing? Yeah. I think it's the class for the dru druids, but the druids can only have non-metal shields because we was looking at this before, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Cause if, and if you use metal weapons, that's part of your anthema. Yeah. So yeah, there's a wooden shields, aren't they? So I got a wooden yeah. one, 
Yeah, so I got a one shield. I, so, and, and I'm not going to have any melee weapons because I don't see the points. I've got loads of cantrips and four javelins. Um, the only thing I looked up on the shield was apparently the wood stuff starts to become pretty useless at like level three onwards. But I didn't know if we could just like build into build the story of like find this extra what, stone. Like a wood shield becomes rubbish. Yeah. But is there no better wood shields though as it there's goes no, up? There's no, there's no better ones until you get to like level 12 or something it said. Yeah, I'm I'm assuming there'll be there'll be magical versions knocking about. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'm, I'm not too worried about that. And I thought we might be able to just say, "Oh, I found the shield that is just as good as a you know metal one, but it's not. It's wood." Yeah, they uh, still give the same AC, don't they? They just don't block as much. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. So you got shield block. Mm. Yeah, I got shield block. So so I got rid of the I got rid of the um, spear. So now I've got a shield, four javelins, um, to throw at to throw at stuff, which I thought suited the druid. Leather um, armor. What was your strength though? Because that that works off your strength throwing stuff. All oh, oh, right, it's only ten. It's a bit rubbish. But I saw that as kind of a last resort thing anyway, because I've got loads of cantrip that I just use. So I don't know. What's yeah, I, I, what, what, I thought, yeah, what I did was uh, crossbow, because that's a simple weapon, so most people uh, have got access to that. Works off your dexterity. Ah, uh, right, okay. So, you know, I'm not, you know, for a ranged weapon, I'm not really range based or anything, but might be an option. But yeah, I did have the limitations, crossbows, but... Yeah, I might get crossbow instead then. Good shout. As long as, it, as long as it's all wooden. Yeah, as long as it's all. Oh yeah, can you have an all wooden crossbow? Don't know. <laughs> I'm Probably not a druid. <laughs> yeah. Have to look that up, aren't I? I've just I've just looked up two two magical level four shields, and they both say this steel shield. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky. But oh. yeah, I'm I'm assuming <laughs> there's things you can do around that. Yeah. You know I mean, you, you could you could end up with a a magical studded shield and maybe during downtime you can say you know can I is there a chance I can pay to have the steel removed and still have it magical we might have to do a roll and check that kind of thing all right cool there's ways around it don't worry yeah. but obviously it is it's is supposed to be a disadvantage for your class because you've got advantages elsewhere so yeah that can't true. ignore it altogether but even daft things like studded leather you won't be able to wear uh, yes. you could take the studs out but then it would be just called leather. Carl is yeah, what, what? his decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, there, there just is a leather one, you know. Yeah, it's there right. is just leather. Just, yeah. I've, got, I've got my hawk, I'm alright. Yeah. It's not oh, metal, okay. is it? <laughs> what is, oh, you've got leather. <laughs> yeah, I've got leather. Like leather armor there. Leather armor. Yeah. Adventurous I mean, Holly and mistletoe. There's going to be some fun there, isn't there? Well, that's what it gave me in the kit. Cause that's Is that because it was Christmas when you did it? Yeah. <laughs> apparently that's what druids hold, is to use certain spells. Yeah, I'm assuming there'll be certain uh, ingredients for certain spells. Yeah, so that's what it gave me anyway. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Apart from, I suppose, the main thing on mine is the spells. Mm. So yeah. I'm open to changing some of these, but I was thinking of like it's. I think mine's a bit of a generalist because it's got like medicine. It can do kind of some healy stuff, um, and I can do damage and other stuff. So this is what I got. My main my main attack would be this cantrip electric arc, which can zap two creatures at once with lightning. So All right. Great. Um. And obviously, I can extend the range of that through the feet I had. Um, I got detect magic just as as we're wandering around to just make sure everything's hunky dory. Because I I just figured if he was some kind of like wild man, that can do magic. I think detect magic is one of the most used spells going, isn't it? I think. Yeah. yeah. You've um, got light, which is good. So I think you've got low light vision, haven't you? Yeah, I've got low light vision, but not full dark. So. I thought I'd get white, um, so then the whole group could see. 
Um, I got stabilized, but Jazz just chose that on her character, so I might change that. So that basically means if somebody goes down to get KO'd, I can stop them from dying. Yeah. Um, so don't don't forget we we didn't really use them too much in the past few weeks, but you'll have you'll each get at least one hero point at the start of each night. Yeah, that's true. And you can either use that to re-roll a dice, or if you take a hit that would have killed you, you can use it to say actually it just knocked me to being unconscious. And because they're hero points, you, if you do if you decide to do th something particularly heroic, like for instance that adventure we played last week where you were all dancing around the mob and Jasmine's character just ran in and fisted the dog to death. <laughs> that, that, in theory, could have earned an additional hero point for the night because she did something particularly heroic. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm funny, I'm funny, yeah. Um, so, yeah, don't forget you've got your hero points. Um, but, yeah, I think I imagine that cantrip you can use on any creature rather than just yourself. Yeah, I, think, I thought yeah. it might be useful because I've got a companion. And also, if we come across any f creatures around that might be um, need saving or whatever, I don't know. Just a thought that might happen. Yeah, no, it's good. Good for a good druid. Mm. And then I got so Tangle. Go on. No, go on, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say, then I got Tanglefoot, which is the last one, which I thought would be pretty good because it like traps, traps them, it immobilizes them on a critical success. And then normal, normal success, it, it reduces the range that enemies can move. So I figured that would be quite good at, um, you know, controlling the field a little bit. Yeah, that's good, that. And you've got heal as well, so you're a bit of a healer. Yeah, I, yeah, I was. I didn't know whether to change that. Because when, cause Jazz has got a cleric. Um, so I'm a bit unsure about the heal. So I don't know what you thought. Is it worth having two? I don't know what everyone thinks. Is it worth having two characters that can heal? I can heal as well. Oh, you can heal. So that'd be three. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, but bear in mind, I think you can only cast. Okay. You can only cast these spells once. Mm. Yeah. I'm uh, yeah. I have extra spell. I'll go for it on my character, but I might change mine to have two heal spells slots. But I'm not sure. Yeah, so. Yeah. Does anybody know what the rules are about changing spells and things as you level up? No idea on that. There is is there not a table that tells you what spells you can choose, or do you mean yeah, once you've picked you can fear change, and heal? You might be able to change ones you've already picked. You can add to them after every level. Yeah. Yeah, you can add, but I'm talking about changing ones that you've chosen on a previous level. In 5e, you could do something. You know what I mean? The, the, I think. Why would you? Why would you change them when you can add to them? Well, you might like not want that heal one. He's saying he don't know. He didn't know everyone he's got it. So if he's got three people yeah. with yeah, heal but spells, a, a difference and then between, you move on. Yeah, but just because Kyle might not have the heal spell prepared, it's different to the heal spell being in his spell book. So I get five well, well, first level spells in my spell book, but I can only prepare three spells a day. I can have all three as heal if I wanted. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. If, do, do your spells work like that, Kyle? Do you have a yeah, book? It, yeah, they're prepared. It says it's tick prepared, so I'm assuming they do work the same. Yeah, you've got uh, two spell slots per day, so... He's got slots, can... yeah. But what AK is saying, he, he might have like ten, ten spells in his book, and then every yeah. day... He goes right. I'm, I'm having. I'm going to memorize this one and this one. Yeah. Yeah. But so that I know for five e. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. For five e, <laughs> wizards work different to all the other ones, and there was like three sort of main different ways you could do it. You know. Yeah. So sorcerers, yeah. sorcerers yeah, so... do it differently. Yeah. But that's how wizards do it, and yeah. that's that's the prepared method rather than the. All the same as I think that in five e there was a way you could change things, but it wasn't. Like you could just change willy nilly. Occasionally you could change one. But all it is, I've looked up for feats, so you can change your feats on this, and you've got to have a, a week's downtime. And you, as long as you um, pick something that you could have picked at the time, then you're allowed to do that. Yeah, I think I think that downtime training. is something we're going to have to be very flexible with. And for instance, say Kyle has fear and heal, and after eight weeks he's never cast fear. I think it's probably fair to say during his downtime. 
you can you can instead of going off to craft something or to earn a few gold you can you can go out into the woods and spend your week switching oh. fear out and putting a new spell in there instead of trick tri and ball sure. and she will get round it <laughs> yeah. um well on the heel thing the other one I was thinking that might be useful instead was mending, which um, basically heals mm -hmm. items. Yes. Um, I thought mm -hmm. that would be useful for me because I can't use steel. And I thought it might be useful for everybody else as well because then I can just heal your stuff after it. After a yeah, because shields especially, that's one thing I've been... Because uh, they get battered, don't they, the shields? Yeah. And then if they get too much damage, they get broken. And Yeah. Yeah, so I think I'll change that to mending and then we'll have two people who can heal and one who can fix equipment. So, yeah. I've got mending as well. Good. Oh, you got mending as well. You're a very healy wizard. But I get I get ten spells, so... You get ten? Um, so it's a useful spell to have, but I probably won't have it learned up all the time. But I yeah. can easily learn it overnight and then mend something the and next need... day if it's needed. Same with heal, you know, if the party's fucked, I might not have heal up all the time, but I, you could, I could, you know, meditate overnight. Learn some heal spells and heal the party if we're resting or whatever. Uh, okay. I didn't realise how many spells was this had. Well, I, th I think, again, I've, I've not really looked it up, but I think, like Graham says, in D&D, &D, you, uh, a wizard, carried a spell book around. So you had access to any of those spells, but you had to choose which ones each day you wanted to learn. Yeah. Um, where you, for instance, you might just choose, you might, as a druid, just get told you can pick two spells and they're the two you get. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to reread that. But I think clerics used to have to pray for their spells, and they chose when they were praying which spells they pray for, and they're the ones they got. So a wizard, for instance, in D and D, if he found a lightning scroll, he could either read it once and cast it, or he could choose to use it to put it into his book. And then at that point on, he could choose to learn that every day. Yeah, and that's the Arcana skill. Yeah. In in Pathfinder. All oh, right, interesting. Um, yeah. So then the only other one that I had was was fear, which I thought is another one. So if I've got like Tanglefoot and fear, it'd be my guy would be quite good at um, not mainly not doing direct damage, but like controlling the battlefield a little bit and yeah, helping. Yeah, good crowd control. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, and then you've got your bird. Uh, yeah, and then I've got my bird, which I don't have the stats for, but that's just, I suppose, similar to the cat. But it can um, it can peck eyes out and blind stuff. Well, in fact, let me read it out. <laughs> Is it just called bird? I, would, I would <laughs> still think it should be called Big wee bird. pecker. Wee pecker. Wee bird. Well, no, I mean, is, is the animal itself just a bird, or is it a kind of bird? Or... Oh, it's a um, it's a hawk. All right. So I've chosen. You can have a, you can have an eagle, a hawk, or an owl. So I've gone for a hawk. Yeah. Well, and it's called good Mowgli. Choice. Good choice, I suppose. That Mostly. Mowgli, Mowgli the hawk. Um, That's good. And yeah, the support benefit you get from it is it pecks foes foes eyes out when you create an opening so until the start of your next turn your strikes that damage a creature your bird threatens also deals persistent bleed damage and the target is dazzled until it removes the bleed damage I need, I need to have a look into that because your, your cat did something very similar didn't it in the last adventure we never really investigated that but yeah. your cat had the same kind of skill where it could flat foot yeah, so it could flat foot a mob, and we never really did anything with that. Mm. Well, I was looking at uh, companions the other day, and I didn't realise because yours was just a cat all the time. I had visions of it just being like a house cat, but it wasn't, was it? It was like a, a panther or something Sammy. like that, wasn't it? <laughs> something like that, yeah. But like, <laughs> they, they start off young, and then they like grow into yeah. like mature them to so we thing. bought it thinking it was a house cat and then suddenly it started getting bigger and bigger it was like this is <laughs> this is no ordinary <laughs> tabby <laughs> why the micro pigs people used to buy when that was all I think. Yeah, yeah, keeping them in the your... barn and it turns into a massive porker is yeah. that your plan then are you going to are you, are you planning on maturing your cat and taking the feet at your bird to make yeah. it better yeah that's going to be like a main part of my character yeah, is the uh, the old hawkey um 
Uh, I also found out we did. We were playing the cat slightly wrong. I have to use. I have to use an action to command it. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, it gets. I, I, yeah. So you you use one of your actions, and then you can. It's got two actions. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Did, I did notice that last week actually when I was reading through after we'd finished and I thought oh that's interesting we, we treated Kyle's cat as its own character but it's probably it was so strong <laughs> yeah um, um, yeah so, sorry just the um, so Chewy spells right yeah you don't have a spell book every morning you can learn five cantrips or well, level one you can learn five cantrips and two first level spells from any of the druid spells in the book for that level. The cantrips you can cast as many times as you want, and the two first level spells you can only cast once each day. But you can yeah. change them each day. So the, the spells oh. that you put down now, you're not committing to forever. And you oh. don't have a spell book, so you always have access to all the druid spells. Ah, oh, cool. Right. Yeah. So, I so to change it as you need to. Yeah, so mine, mine's similar, but I have a spell book that, that has Nothing. 10 cantrips and. Um, five first level spells in and I can know five sp cantrips the same as you which I can cast as many times as I want every day and then three first level spells that I can't that um, I can only cast once right. but I, all, I and, and then I have a feat that allows me to spend ten minutes during the day to relearn and, like one spell and stuff like that so uh, all right, um, okay. oh well, that's good then I'll probably stick to mainly yeah, good. Things, but I'll probably change as we as the circumstances change then that's handy yeah, we'll, we'll certainly hit points in the adventure where we'll say right, uh, we're going to camp for the night. Um, just decide what spells you want to really learn, and we'll we'll put people on watch. We'll, we'll do some rolls for any encounters, and then five minutes later, you're all awake again. You've all got your new spells. Brilliant. So yeah, that's my guy. I think that's everything. What well, somebody else? Nice have one. Cheers, Carl. Oh, I can also heal my pet. That's my focus spell. Yeah. Right. So you use a focus point for that, don't you? And then you've got yeah. to concentrate for so long before you get your focus point back. Yeah. Nice one. Well, fear the druid and mostly the hawk. Yeah. Weep. Brackets. Not weep. <laughs> She's very sad about <laughs> the you might get renamed to Weed Packer yet. I like naming things literally, though. Like when we <laughs> when we added, like you know, like pork chop the dog, and Hammy the hamster. Do you remember Hammy? Yeah. Chunk. No, it was Chunk. Chunk and Hammy. Two names because it was chunky. I like name things like literally. It was the lazy yeah. hamster. But he had a wheel. It was never used once. <laughs> you sure it was a hamster? I don't know, it looked like a hamster. Yeah, it used to eat toast for its breakfast, though. Oh, God. And popcorn. <laughs> it did live quite a long life, though. I think it was three, weren't it? It was three and a half, I think. Yeah, that's enough about our own. Uh, yeah. Is that the real hamster as well? You didn't have to nip out and buy a replacement? <laughs> well, as no, because we'd, be, we'd be replacing it for ourselves. It was pre kids, weren't oh, it? Oh, right, okay. Yeah. I thought you might have bought it for uh, no, no, your son, and then yeah, had to replace like it. And stuff, so no pets for us. Right. I wouldn't trust him. Um, okay. I'm just, I'm just for cigarette. Sorry. Okay. Feel free no to carry on without me. Okay, Who's going next? Great and Will. Who's next? Go on, Graham. You're never gonna do it. All I can right. roll. I can roll a dice. Uh, uh, roll, roll for perception and see who goes first. Go on then. Oh, I've got to get my dice out now. It's like giving out Christmas presents. <laughs> so, Will, I'll roll for you first. Oh, okay. a twenty. Oh, nice. But it did hit. It did hit the keyboard, so it didn't actually roll that far. But oh, and Graham got a sixteen. So, Will. You got that me? first. <laughs> right. Who goes right. first? Okay, there we go then. I'll share my screen. Just um, let me. Where are we? If I find it. Right, so I've got two characters. Because I'm greedy. <laughs> um, no, because I don't know which one to use yet. So. Right. The, the, the swashbucklers in the advanced rule guide, though, innit? So yeah. is that quite a tricky one to use, or, or is like the. 
Not for Will. I, I think, think it might be, be, yeah, so... But I really wanted to use it. <laughs> so, <laughs> can you see that? Is it working? It no. says watch stream. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, you need Being to click. Uh, watch oh! Stream. Well, this isn't how Kyle did it. This is... Oh, is it not? No. No. It was really crap. I couldn't see anyone's faces throughout the whole thing. He had it open. Yeah, no, I can't see yours. I've had to maximise my character sheet. Yeah. It's telling me to sit tight. Sit tight. Yeah. yeah. Sit tight. It says Will's minimised the application. Sit tight. Oh, what? Sounds like it's paused the stream. Well. Swap your application to resume. Stream pause. Swap to resume. Right, I'll tell you what. Let me close that. And let me... Do this. Change. Stop streaming, and then instead of sharing, I'll do the whole screen. How do I do that? Screen. Oh, screen. Oh. I'll share the whole screen. Carl's gone for a wee wee, so I can't. Yeah. Oh, you there sharing? You. Oh, I can see myself twice and Graham and everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just share the whole oh. screen, but it'll be easier. So then you should be able to just see. Um, you see that? Yeah. 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 Coming through. Thanks Rumble, Tom. Rumble I should have known that's what it'd be called. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the same name regardless of which character you go for, is it? No, it's not. The other one hasn't actually got a name at the moment. Um, so nah. this this is Rumble, Rumble Tom the Rumble Road. Tom. Rumble No, Rumble the Tom was the uh, World of Warcraft <laughs> character. <laughs> so Rumble Tom, yeah, this is the rogue. He was the original rogue as well, last time I played 5e. Um, so he's reincarnated. But he's, a, he's, he's come back as a goblin. So these these stats, as <laughs> yeah, these stats, I think I might have changed them slightly, but um, I didn't, I've not re-exported it. I need to re-export it, essentially. But so I was going over it last night with Graham and made a few changes. So I think strength should be a bit less. And dexterity was a bit more, yeah. I think. Um, but obviously, I've not really exported it by the looks of it. So he's a goblin, he's a charlatan, and he's a rogue. Um, I've not set the alignment yet, but if he's a goblin, I would imagine he's probably going to be like chaotic evil or something. But we'll we'll see. He doesn't have to be a goblin. I might change that down the line as well. Uh, it's all very like, what do you <laughs> think? <laughs> what are you showing us if it's all going to change? <laughs> well, it's not. It's not all going to change. The, the whole point of me showing you this was for like feedback because somebody He's might not going to use this. Don't one. That's, be, that's really somebody might. <laughs> somebody might go. Don't be a goblin because you would be better being a human or a half elf or whatever. Um, that's same thing. There, by the way, human and half elf. Same thing. Um, <laughs> as Graham told me last night. So this is my character, Rumbleton the Rogue. is a is a goblin. Um, these are my stats, but I did I did change it so the strength is slightly less, and the dexterity is slightly more. Can I change yeah. it? Yeah. Does it let me change it? Oh look at that! It's amazing. Change them both to eighteen. Oh yeah, that'll look even better. <laughs> um, Does it so, update on the fly that then? Or just it, a PDF, I, isn't it? It's just a PDF. It'll yeah. Yeah. I'll have to update the app. Um, so, I've done my skills here, put quite a bit in acrobatics and athletics, obviously was there, you know, I'm a, I'm a rogue, so I want to be nimble, thievery plus five, which yeah. is stealth plus five, um, I put plus two in medicine because the wisdom was giving me minus one, um, yeah, my wisdom was like not what? good. Oh yeah, you Yeah, my wisdom yeah, is not very wide. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Um and uh, to be honest, there isn't I've not really researched all of these feats and abilities. I know I probably should have done, but I read them at the time when I was doing it, I was like, Yes, that sounds amazing, I'll use that and I'll use this and I'll use... but ask me now, I couldn't tell you what any of them do. Obviously Trap Finder is speaks for itself <laughs> and dark vision um you know obviously they're they're quite obvious um as for the others don't know i'd have to read up on so i'm um, just having a work on, on races and a good one a, just as an opinion on on the, the forum 
they say dwarves are quite good for rogues because they're small, which Goblin is as well. Um, no, and they've got this thing. The medium. Oh, well, medium. Just, oh, right, it says small on it. But anyway, they've got this thing called Trap Spotter. So you can, like, spot traps on secret on doors and stuff and, and in caves. Are you are just not comfortable with been in a party with a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> a rogue goblin, he sounds proper. Well dodgy. The, go the goblin was the goblin was you know oh, be cool, though. A goblin's cool. Yeah but goblins have always been like the enemy up until this version of Pathfinder. That's why Graves are a bit upset. Oh. oh no it does say sorry I should have read more. It does say goblins make fantastic rogues because they're yeah. depth yeah. moves and stealth. So yeah. I'll just shut up. The, yeah. the only reason Graham's upset about goblins is because up until this version of Pathfinder, <laughs> goblins were always mobs. mobs. You could never be a goblin, that. and they were always bad and mobs, and you could, you know, they were just like, kill the goblin! And now it's like, Yeah, well, what? when's not beef, Will? Because I'm a dwarf. Oh, and, right, okay. And, 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 like, hundreds of years ago, you basically ruined my race. Well, I didn't. I didn't personally. Well, your type did ruin my race. You can't though, be yeah. racist. That's the I know. Point, yeah. Though. What's that all about? You can't. <laughs> so it wasn't well. <laughs> it wasn't me specifically. So that's <laughs> this is Rumble Tom. Uh, it was. It wasn't but a it slave was your ancestors. <laughs> oh dear. I've not done any inventory because I didn't even know there was a pack option on the app. So I'll have to have a look at that. Oh, and should I, I tell you the page number? I should be able to tell you what it is. I'll tell yeah. you the page number. It's um, It'll be the same on your PDF, obviously. It's in the app, anyway. It's in the app. If you scroll yeah. down, it's there. Right, I didn't it, see that. It's, it's on the book. It's on page 289 of the book. Um, And there's the class kits. Do you want me to tell you what you get? I'm just opening yeah, the app now to see rogue. if it's... Uh, should you just do it in the yeah. app, Will? If you just go into gear and just search for just search for kit, then it brings up all the kits for the different. Uh, yeah, there's a swash for quick and a rogue. In the search, go to add gear. Just put kit. Kit. And then it just it lists all the things for kit. Oh yeah, kit rogue. Here we go. So it's sixty-two That's silver. Um, Which I assume is six gold, is it? And two. Is yeah. It? So yeah. if you just buy that, yeah, it's ten oh, silver. It's slightly gold, different then. In the book, it says five gold, four silver. Oh, I wonder really? if that's uh, what for the cost. Maybe for the, yeah, more. and it says you'll have you'll have nine gold, six silver left over. But it's, I'm quite happy to go with what the app goes with. Oh, they're all different though. The Rangers is only thirty-seven silver. Yeah. They are so all yeah, they're all different. So the Rogues is sixty-two silver, and it contains a backpack, a bedroll. Two belt pouches, ten pieces of chalk. You know, but you can never have enough chalk. Yeah. Flint and steel, Michael Mahan. Mark in the way. <laughs> fifty feet yeah. of rope. It, yeah, the infamous fifty feet of rope. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's <laughs> walking around with fifty feet of rope. Um, I love that. Two weeks in, rations, in... soap, and five torches and a water skin. Oh, an armor, in, in... leather armor. Sorry, Karen. Yeah. In the book, it is different. You... Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, because you've got leather armor. You've got weapons, which is a dagger, yeah, dagger and rapier. And rapier. Yeah. You've got an adventurous pack of climbing kit and a sheath and thieves tools oh which are options, so that must be you get to choose your things. Uh, uh, yeah, you see you start off with fifteen gold and according to the book your kit takes up five gold four of it and that leaves you with nine gold, six silver left. But and if the you options, options are thieves tools. Yeah, and then I think that costs three gold put points from that got gold. Gold yeah. Mm. yeah. Gold pieces. Well, I'm happy to Will go said the sixty-two price. silver. Yeah, I was going to say there's only it's like one gold difference or something, isn't it? Yeah. 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 As long as you're all going off the app, I'm quite happy that you do that. That way, it's all. Uh... Yeah. It's all. Well, the thing, the thing is, uh, well, you can just from the same source. I don't think it's worth re really thinking too much. I don't think fifteen no. gold is a lot. You know, when you start leveling up. Yeah, it's just just to get you started, I think, isn't it? It's and if you're nice. if you're being a goblin, will I'll let you know now that when you open your pack, you realise there's no soap in it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, you, exactly. and you're happy about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's an extra fifty foot of rope instead where the soap used to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. So, because because your um, type of rogue was uh, the thief, everything works off your dexterity. So. 
Yeah, you're probably better off putting 18 into your decks because your strength right. won't go towards your, uh, no. your, your your damage. Your dexterity no, goes towards decks, your damage. Yeah. I might put another yeah. couple of points into wisdom yet so. because I don't like being minus one on wisdom. That doesn't sit well with me. It, why are you minus one? Is that the natural thing for? Uh... I, I don't know. That's just what it came up. I think it. Oh, it's here. It must... It's just as minus one. Because you're uh... a goblin, isn't it? Yeah, it must be. Does it yeah. make a difference to you, though? I don't know. Because I, I on mine, I had a, a minus on the charisma, and I just put it up. It's. I think it's just if you're doing a a, a charisma roll. Got... Yeah, exactly. It yeah. Is it instead of like plus? Uh, is it? Yeah. So it's like. So I might, yeah, I might well, change it. I, I don't know what the normal sort of thing is for, for Wisdom and Rhodes, but it goes for your perceptions, and I would imagine Rhodes want a high perception for going first, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. This is wrong anyway, because my constitution's on the 10, and I did up that, remember? Uh, last night I was talking to Graham, and he was like, you need a highest constitution, so I did up that. So You I, had that at 8, didn't you? <laughs> I don't know, was it at 8? It, whatever it is, uh, I thought I'd up to more than that. So. Oh, you'd be one-shotted. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe it's just because I'm focusing on the other character a bit more. So that's my rogue. Mm. But then I've got my swashbuckle, which is the one I really want to use. What yeah. is the rogue the swashbuckler in the guide? Is it something different? No, it's in the must advanced must be in the advanced, advanced player, yeah. Uh, the, yeah. W one of the things I noticed as the, as the, as the rogue wheel is it's... It plays a bit like a mini game in combat because you can do things like take cover and then go into stealth and then rather than just run around the map because you've got high dexterity and stuff, you can choose to sneak and move around the map without being detected. So while everyone's just running up and hitting, you're sort of doing your own thing, sneaking around the back of rocks and, and barrels and stuff and moving from one place to another and then suddenly right. jumping out and hitting something. That does sound um, good. That does sound. That does sound good. It's a, bit, it's a bit like World of Warcraft rogues that just go invisible and then just appear. <laughs> just appear from nowhere. Map. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that so that's be... that's where that's things like when we're saying what you're going to do in um, initiative, things like that we need to take into account. If you go first and sort of go into stealth mode and we can't see you and you move to a spot where someone casts a fireball etc so things yeah, like that we need to uh, <laughs> take into account <laughs> yeah. but I'm always, it's not so bad if I'm going first well, so you'll know where I am then won't you because well I'll say right I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm moving to here yeah yeah just the monsters that won't be able to see you yeah um, but but I'm, I'm, I am favouring the swashbuckle, but I don't know yet. So this is the other one. It's not got a name yet because I've not had a chance to actually go over the finer details. But he's an elf. He's a sailor and the class is swashbuckle. He's an elf. He's an elf, yes. He's an elf. He's a whisper elf. He's a whisper elf, though. So his stats are a bit better. Plus he's got his dexterity is a lot higher and he's got his constitutions um, up there as well. Um, and I also put a point in charisma. Now I'm sure this. I'm sure I added more to charisma. I think it's exported the old one. I've only, I've just exported it, but it's not. It's not including the updated stats that I did last yeah. night. Um, so I'll have to. Yeah, I wanted more on. I thought I'd up that to fourteen. Um, so you've gone more towards crafting as well on this one, haven't you? Yeah. Because because is a the the aim there was I was thinking like of some kind of pirate um, was what I was looking at yeah um, again high just, just on that stuff. I've noticed you've got sailing lore and stuff so I imagine if we if we were doing an adventure path that's based around islands or the seas and that you would get a lot of benefit out of that but not so I'm not a lot too far in front <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. a vast a vast ye hearties. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's very dark in here. As we, yeah, as we walk into the underground cavern. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah again, Do you have so... a boat? Do you have a boat? And it, what is the name of your boat? I don't have a boat at the moment. Boat with a boat face. I know oh, that's boat 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 face, yeah. <laughs> and then your name could be Piratey McPirate Face. <laughs> or Captain Bird's Eye. Or Captain <laughs> yeah, Bird's Eye. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um... So yeah, the, the, again, not got any. You not be a rogue pirate? Is pirate? What's pirate? There isn't the pirate's not a thing. Oh. 
<laughs> no, there is no pirate. There's a background of sailor, but there is actually no pirate. Sailor, that's yeah. Um, I, I mean, you, you could probably be if you were an elf. Is the background linked to the class or to the ancestry? Do we know? I don't think it's linked to anything, is it? No, no. it's not linked to anything. Yeah, you can choose what you want there. Oh, there you go. So I could potentially change it to be a, a rogue and still be a, a sailor. Um, so yeah. maybe, maybe. But again, so I need to make a decision ideally tonight as to which one to go for. So if needs to be, I'll so go to the vote. What? What's your pros and cons then? Why do you, why do you prefer the swashbuckler? Because he can be a pirate. <laughs> no, no other reason. No other reason. You know why pirates yeah, are the best class? classes, don't you? Because they, they are. are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we get uh, solved. That. Is that a subclass? <laughs> or whatever it's called. What's pirate. that? Pirate of a swashbuckler. No. I'm getting to pirate. No, uh, uh, because that's what I want to be. I'm just... That's, it's not a thing. Well, you're making it up for the swashbuckler, but you can't make it up for the rogue. Well, no, that's it. I can, though. But <laughs> it just sounds more piracy, doesn't it, a swashbuckler, than a rogue. What's the difference in, like, what with their feet and stuff? It's just the feet, yeah. I don't, I've not really... Again, I, as I was picking them, I was like, oh, this sounds good. Um, underwater Marauder. You know, that, that just sounds amazing. Well, you never know. There are there are streams and lakes and stuff and caves and that kind of thing. You might be the one that said, you know, you you, you reach a, a tunnel, it gets smaller and smaller, and then there's just water, and everyone says, we're not going to risk it. And you say, ah, don't worry, ah, I'll swim <laughs> through this, ah. And then you, you jump through and you can swim 30-odd feet further than everyone else and stuff. Yeah. You never know. Might come in handy. So, but yeah. I think with, the, with this particular swashbuckler class, it was more on the aimed at the charisma and the, a lot of talking and um, oh. diplomacy uh, diplomacy and stuff like that. So like the Bon Matfeet, bon Matfe, trained in diplomacy, you launch an insightful quip at a foe, distracting them. Choose a foe within 30 feet and roll a diplomacy check against the target's uh, DC. And basically it's, it's distraction. Um, yeah. So it was more that kind of thing, and then there's confident finisher because I make an incredible graceful attack, which is part of the swashbuckling thing, uh, piercing your foe's defenses. Yeah. It sounds good, Will. I quite yeah. like the idea of uh, like a sophisticated yeah. elven pirate as well. Exactly. He's, he's got panache, which is you care as much about the way you accomplish something as whether you actually accomplish it in the first place. So in other words, it's like you might do something amazing, but you might miss. But you know, you might. It's yeah. still, it was still amazing. It um, still looked good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So in your game panache, yeah. we might get yeah, on you that. Are, you are selling it, yeah. Yeah, and I get a plus five foot status bonus to your speeds. While I, while I've got a panache, I get a plus five foot status bonus to your speeds and a plus one circumstance bonus to checks to tumble through. Um, yeah. yeah, so it sounds good. It does sound. I good. see where you're born because the goblin rogue does sound cool, but. Pirate sounds pretty cool as well. Exactly, yeah. So I, I, I am tempted. If the if the swashbuckler wasn't such an advanced one, I'd just do that straight off. But because it says it's advanced, it's like, well, am I going to be able to handle it being a noob? Do you, I think you'll have to learn what, how that panache thing works because that's a, that, that, never used before. Well, the panache. The other, the other alternative, Will, is I'm, I'm pretty sure once you get to level two. You can choose like a secondary class. All right. Maybe you could be both. Which will allow me to take some of the feats from the other class. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's called. Uh, yeah. I think dedication. I think at all it. Yeah, all it does at the moment for at, at lower levels, it just you just take one or two of the feats, don't you? Right. Well, any level. That's what that's what it does. Yeah. So at level two, you can take a, a dedication, and there's like a massive list of them, and you can take, you know, all the classes, and there's all these other, other dedications as well that you just have a look through them all, what they do. Yeah. And then you take that, and then the next time you take a, a, a class feat, you can go in and take the class from the dedication instead, basically. Pretty much. So you just end up with a choice yeah. of either as you're going through them. 
but what you got to remember is no, it's at half your level. So you know when you're getting your normal fates, if you like, it's a level six fate. When you get to level six, you know you can get to a level six fate. But if it's one from your dedication, it's only half your level. So to get to that yeah, level six, you, you got to be twelve. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Um, so there's 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 a cost implication to it. Yeah. It's like it's like in D and D. A lot of the time you want the lower ones anyway, so it's all right. But yeah, you can't get to them high ones. I think. Mm. I think my spells wrong because it says your divine. But yeah, so I think I might go swash properly. It does sound good, and I just need to right. read up a bit more on it. But yeah, yeah. so that panache is like a. If I say I'm gonna do something amazing, like you know, well, the, the example it gives is swinging from a chandelier to perform an attack. If I say I'm going to yeah. do that, I have to roll for panache, and if, or you know, roll for something. And if I get it, I gain panache. And if yeah. I gain panache during that attack phase, then I get a plus five on my speed and a plus one uh, circumstance bonus. So it's like a little extra yeah. thing that you can get if you're performing an attack that is like not just a straightforward attack or something a bit daring. Then you, if you yeah. uh, roll for it, you can gain panache just for that combat round. Uh, sorry, not for? for that whole combat. Well, it, it gains your speed, and it gains your one circumstance bonus. Um, I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. Yeah, it just I, sounds I, I, good I, I, as well. The reading, written, Pan they were saying Panache is really good. Oh, it's yeah, sorry. Cool. Precision cool. Strike class feature also causes you to deal extra precision damage while you have Panache. Powerful finisher yeah. actions, including Confident Finisher, can be used but only while you have panache and cause you to lose your panache. What? Oh, right. So if I did conf confident finisher, I would then lose my panache. Um, yeah, but yeah, so... Getting it, aren't they? Just, not just from what you... Like doing something special. That's like a, a more of a bonus, I think, for getting them. But I think there's just general feats and stuff that you do that give you, give you it and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it sounds, sounds good. good. It does sound better than the goblin roll, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll let you know right. in the next few days. No worries. Yeah, if you can, especially if you're picking Swashbuckler, because it's not in our standard core rule book. So it's something I'll have to go up and read separate. Is it so? Is it just not in the core rule book at all then? No. no. Oh, right, okay. There's an advanced book. That's yeah. Isn't it? It's on the, on the app if you go into options, well. There's, there's a load of books you can you can tick, and I think by default it's just got everything ticked or pretty oh. much everything. Right. So every, you know, when you're yeah. looking at it, you're getting you're getting. It's not just the advanced. There's like the stuff in from all sorts of books as well. I think. I might not bother then, to be honest, because I don't want to cause problems if people are buying going out and spending that much on the book. And oh. I'm picking something that's not in the book. It, it won't cause a problem, Will, because obviously from my point of view, I won't be able to keep track of everything that all your characters can do. So as long as you're able to say, I can roll against this, and if I pass it, I get this, this, and this, and I'll just say, yeah, that's fine. Mm, yeah, Unless sure. you want to swing yeah. from a chandelier in in the middle <laughs> of uh, a cave. To get... that's where that's... there is no chandelier. <laughs> the, the really the first is. class cave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll make a decision. I don't know. Yeah. Is, I think the only thing to keep in mind is probably that you'd have to be really inventive in all the stuff that he's doing. Well, I yeah, mean, especially a, lot with it, a lot of it is documented. It's, you know, in the. I'll just have to get a copy of the advanced rules, advanced player guide. Just go for it where, why not? It's, the whole point is to do yeah. what you want, The whole point is to pick something you're going to enjoy playing. So, yeah, don't. True. Just, just choose what it is. Like I, like I said ages ago, if no one wanted to play a healer, we'd get round it by just making sure everyone starts off with a few healing potions, etc. Yeah. And and wherever wherever you find a stash of gold, I'd just put a couple of healing potions in there as well. Right. Um, but not enough, so you'd never need a healer. But yeah, just we'd always work so. round it. Yeah. I might yeah. do. I might do. I envisage it to be some kind of Jack Sparrow character. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going for it. <laughs> May as well. May as well. All right, we've got Graham next, have we? Okay. Graham the monk. The sherry thing. Oh no, not a monk. No, no. Um, it's not that. I don't, what am I doing here? Oh, Just do God. share desktop. Click on the. 
screen, the picture they've put on this as screen. Well, I've already done that. And Does then that click work? the screens tab. And then click. <laughs> Have I done that? You've, You've done, done something. something. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Can you see this? Depends what this is. No. 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 Yeah. Sheet. What can you say? What stream? Oh no, that's me the screen, <laughs> that. <laughs> I can still just see, still just see Discord, Discord, within Discord. Discord within Discord. Uh, yeah. 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 And the sound, the sound's the echoing sound's as well now. Yeah. Yeah. Can see three three AK heads. Oh. Is it go live? No, yeah, go back, no, press yeah, back. Go. Oh yeah, there you hey, go. that's it. Is it? What did you do for a living, Graham? What is it doing? <laughs> I can see, I can see it perfectly on there now. Is it? What's it done? Yeah. That's it. We can see it now. You should. You can see, can see your PDF. Yeah. yeah. It has, it's just shared that one document then, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. I did that well, initially. So you can only see you can see this moving up and down, can you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Faris. Are we on then? Faris. Half elf, human half elf. Miner is a minor background. There's a reason oh. for that, because he fights with picks. Got dual picks. Two picks. I know you're two wondering, like, uh, how, how's a, 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 an elf fighting with picks? But I'll, I'll what? get to that oh. in a minute. You think that was more of a a, 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 um, a, a dwarf thing, wouldn't you? Fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not an inventive backstory. Maybe you were raised by dwarves. Well, here we go. Here we go. You know, you don't. Or know goblins. What, you, what you've got to come in and store yeah. is. So he's got um, strength eighteen because he likes to hit stuff. Dexterity fourteen just because whatever, dodgy, dodgy things. Constitution fourteen. I mean. Maybe better 12, 16, but just space it out a bit. Wisdom, I put the extra point in that just for the will saves to try and get that up because I'm low on will saves. Thanks. And I think uh, I was reading that you know you, you don't want your uh, your fighter being man controlled, even though it is low anyway. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it just comes uh, expert, expert, trained in that, which comes up. 25 feet, pretty standard, I think. I will be taking the feats Kyle was talking about, though. Uh, they wants to make it faster, so I'm going to take both of them within the next few levels to get it up to uh, 35. But if then I go uh, heavy armor, it'll go back down to 30. But Worth it, I would say. Still, still should be... Uh, well... It's a bit hit and miss, that heavy armour, to be honest. It don't, you don't seem to get a right lot for it. I do not. Well... Um, Won't be much, much good in a swamp. <laughs> so I've got an eight, uh, uh, AC of 18. It's 10 plus 2 decks. Oh yeah, item there. So item, it says 3. So from the armor I've got, I think it's medium armor. I might say it somewhere. It's hide. So I get three, and then I get a dex cap of two with this armor. So I get like a plus five, and then plus three for proficiency. So that's eighteen. So a lot yeah. of like heavy armor. It goes up, but you get a, le a less on your dex cap. So even the the best armor in the game, you get a six item. Bonus. So I'd only go up to 19 because it's got a zero cap of you know of the decks. So it only goes up one from getting the top thing. But I think further on when you get a higher level, you can increase that dex cap from zero to one at some point. But yeah, so it doesn't seem amazing to be honest. But I'm a fighter, so yeah, I've got a shield. Yeah, you're more of an agility fighter, aren't you? Than a no, just plant your feet down. Strength fighter. I've got a shield, oh, okay. even though I'm dual yeah. wielding with two picks, I've got a light pick and a, a heavy, a normal pick. There's, there is a two-handed pick as well, but obviously you can't dual wield that. So the good thing about these picks is, fatal d10. Fatal, wow. fatal. 
so what the way these things work is <laughs> you've got deadly <laughs> weapons and you've got fatal weapons and there's only like three or something with the fatal thing so what, what if you get a, if you get a, like so my normal dice is pretty standard or low or it's one d6 so on a normal hit i just get one d6 plus four if i get a crit so when you get a crit you get an extra dice so normally you'd get an extra d6 because it's a fatal it, up, it upgrades your actual normal dice to a d10 and then because it's a crit you get another dice for your crit so i get another d10 and because it's fatal d10 you get another d10 so you get three d10s oh my god up. that's wow. crazy if I hit a crit and then if on the on the um so the idea is the light pick is uh, I, I've, I've just written this on but it is uh, uh, agile you know so you get less um... <laughs> that was yeah you get minus most... four on that thing instead of minus five yeah it, 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 you know I said it didn't export it correctly that used to be a dagger that's why it's saying that this these traits are there but it will this light pick does have uh, agile so yeah you get your minus four more chance of hitting with that I mean, you could have two normal picks, but then, but in fact, the the where is it? The oh, that's a shield boss. Yeah, amazing. Not put it in. So you're looking for a shield boss? No, my main attack yeah. it hasn't put in. My main attack is uh, the dual wielding attack, what's called a tw uh, um, double slice. Why has it not put that in? No, you don't have it. Definitely got it. Where is it put in? Reactive shield, yes. Got that from natural ambition. You're missing a special first. I should have like the normal class feat, which is double slice. Not got it, has it? Anyway, I've got double slice, you see, well where the way double slice works is you get one attack with your main weapon, and then you get uh, another attack. Uh, and if you use um uh, uh, what's it? An agile weapon. You don't get any penalty for your second attack. All oh, right, that's so good. Now often can you use that? That's um, uh, well, it's it's two actions for that. So right. you can only really use it once. But it's not got any uh, traits on it to say you you can't use it like flourish or anything like that. Because flourish, yeah. you can only. That's use, good then. So so if one. you want, you can attack with both weapons without penalties and it yeah. takes two actions and then they've yeah. got another action obviously to, to swing one again yeah, yeah. Uh, or or I could get see I've taken this reactive shield so my class is a fighter so he comes with shield block like Kyle's but I've I'm also taken this reactive shield at one which so I'd have one action left basically so I could swap my shield you know from one of my one of my picks but I won't actually be able to do anything with it no you know what I mean I just have it in my hand I won't be able to raise it because I wouldn't have another action so the idea is I'll have reactive shield which which is the reaction so if somebody does try to hit you you can use your reaction to to lift your shield yep. yeah and, and, and further on that, that line when you get a higher level I've got shield block, so if it's a really tough fight, I can like leave my shield on anyway, and do raise shield as an action, and then I'd be able to do shield block as the reaction. But you, you but they're both you know reactions, so you can't do them both. You only get one reaction. Yeah. Uh, go or whatever. But as you get higher levels, you get there's a feat that you can take that does makes that all happen in one one thing, shield block and reactive shield. You know, so you raise it and block when you need to. Yeah. Quite high on stealth as well, though. Yeah, Swap well, stealth, I've yeah. got, I've got the, I've put some in decks, but yeah. maybe you should be like a light armored fighter, so you could do a bit of sneaking and then just pick him in the head. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've had quite a lot of messing around with this, like leather, leather armor and and stuff, but I think. You know, going like I've I've read even though I can't quite work the math out myself that it's better, but I've read that it's good. It is good to go like you know heavy armor, so mm. it must get better. 
Yeah. <laughs> I Sounds suppose good. it's the equivalent. Uh, enough of us have played Warcraft now to say it's the difference between a prop tank and uh, what was the other one? The dual wheel tank. What was he called? Um, Fury tank, wasn't it? Fury warrior. Fury warrior and a yeah. prop warrior. I only got to level 35 or, or something, didn't I? I'm a warrior. So yeah. But this is more of a fury warrior, isn't it? You're not you're not standing there with a, a, a one weapon and a, a shield and wanting to stand your ground and take all the hits. You're more of a bit of a whirlwind character. Well, I, I, I've kind of tried to keep the options open with a shield yeah. and, and a weapon or or both weapons, you know. But obviously, and a short bow. You can't... Yeah. Oh yeah. So I did say crossbow before, didn't I? That was on yeah. that that was on my monk, I think. Cause... Because I didn't have proficiency for short bows on my monk without taking, um, you know, a feat or something to give me that. Yeah. So on this, I, could go, for a the monk. I could go for a short bow. Uh, he's still there. Still, he's I did a bit like Will's doing, you know, deciding between the two. But I thought I'll go with a more traditional style thing rather than going with like the the flashy monk, you know. Not really me, all that showing off. Leave that to Will. Yeah. Where did you get the name Varys from? Is it from Game of Thrones? <laughs> well, it, no, it wasn't from the Game of Thrones. All ah, right. So Varys, I've got a little bit of a backstory. I know it sounds a bit a bit unusual. So if you want to get your head down, now's the time. No, far away. <laughs> so from birth, he lived in a village called Taldor. A small elven village in the Shining Kingdom. So obviously you've all know about the Shining Kingdom because it's close to where we're going to be. Yeah. So one night his uh, his his village got raided by an orc an orc party. Uh, his mother got killed by an orc wearing a clawed fist weapon. <laughs> uh, his stepfather fought with the uh, the orc and, and managed to kill him, and uh, they escaped and he's. Took the he took the weapon and he, he took refuge in the uh, Ver, Verdurin forest. Yeah, you all familiar with that? Good. Yeah. <laughs> and no. his father died. <laughs> this this story it was a girl when I wrote it, but um, and then so within days of his father's death, one of his own group tried to steal his bow at night. So he had a, a fight in the middle of the night, but the guy battered him basically and. Um, and he took off with his bow, so uh, he, he went. He went to try and appeal to all the people that he fled the uh, fled his village with and living in the woods, but none of them would help him. So uh, he took the bow back at night, and uh, he just fled. And he went on the he went on the you know the run as it were through the f forest. Um, got pretty good at nature because that's what he's going to be on level two he's going to be um, taking the uh, ranger stuff so um yeah he got good at nature then he came to a, a a river which is which is on the map and then he tried to cross it he found this raft and it was one of them rafts on a rope you know that you pull through so oh, yeah. that, right so he, he got that and he went across on this rope he managed to get across without losing any of his gear or anything it's a bit of a dangerous crossing. Is that where you got your 50 foot of rope from? <laughs> no, it was already there, this. <laughs> and then uh, then he gets to the other side and this voice calls out. He says, uh, that crossing was more dangerous than you know. People usually pay first. So he's like, oh, uh, you know, <laughs> bit, a, bit, a, bit, a bit scared by this. So he looked up to see the widest person, a dwarf, that he'd ever seen in his life, Doron. He was a, a, a mining dwarf. They'd been watching him from across the river. Uh, so, you know, Varys was like panicking a little bit and, uh, he, you know, he's looking for the, the way out. So he decided he, all he could do was run. The only way he could find out, though, was uh, blocked by the, the dwarf. He, the dwarf had like read him and he's like, no, it's not me you need to pay. And then he says, uh, and just then the raft jolts and he nearly fell. He turned to see a large, evil-looking man pulling the rope from the other side of the bridge. So, 
Durin, uh, Doron threw, threw a coin to him and just said, put that on the raft, that, you know, that'll keep him straight. And then uh, basically told the story to the dwarf who took him under his uh, wing and uh, looked after him like a son because he was only 14 at this at this time. So he lived with the dwarf until, uh, oh, about 10 years. I've not actually decided how long. And, and, and it's actually in the same town as where we're... Uh, we're going to be doing the quest. It's like they're living in the same place. Over Bravo. 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 That's um, really... Yeah. Uh, have you been taking tips from R.A. Salvatore by any chance? Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> His job is safe. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good, that. It's good oh, you've got some nice it? background yeah, to it. There's quite a people that's in the background. I was trying yeah, to get the pics. I know, it looks lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> Very nice. Well, if you will leave it all hanging up. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd try and wheel, you know, weave my uh, my picks thing in because it's a bit harder, isn't it, waving picks? Because obviously the only reason why I chose picks is because of the uh, <laughs> the good Metal. crit damage. <laughs> right, it wasn't it wasn't because of the dwarf then? No, uh, yeah, of course it, oh. uh, <laughs> it just it just yeah. happened to fit in. What came yeah, first? Yeah, that's good. Of the egg. So again, uh, on that, you've 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 put you put a few of your eggs in the old mining basket there. So obviously, any bits of the adventure that's underground, you're going to shine in. Yeah, um, so I'm at the end That's yeah. Because I was, I, you know, from fourteen, I, I, he, he taught, oh, he taught me how to mine, and he taught me how to fight with picks because that's, you know, a very dwarven thing. So he he brought him up and taught him all this stuff. Oh, and the, and he, the thing he wants in life is just to. Uh, Live somewhere where he f live a qu quiet, a long and quiet life. Somewhere where he feels at home and he belongs. Aww. Ah. Ah. Yeah. That probably came from when he used to be a girl, but yeah. <laughs> I swear, I'm, I'm, before well, they I'm are. Him, <laughs> that young, because half elves live till they're about 150, don't they? So. Yeah, it's a good. Well, oh, I don't. I, do half elves not just have a normal sort of human lifespan? Do no, look good. Longer? Yeah, about 150, it said. Uh, wow. Yeah, more, no full elves are more, I take it. I think it's like over 200 a normal elf. Yeah, dwarves and elves live a long time, don't they? I thought it was like 300 years or something for a dwarf. I think it is. I think it is. I forgot. I was thinking I was a human. But yeah. But I'm quite. So he lived, he's, he's probably only about. So I've been a half elf. He's probably about 30 now, I'd say. But he's been living 15 years or so with Doron. My the, the, So the, the the fist weapon thing as well. That's that's one of the weapons that um, I've got in my backpack because I carry that around. All right. Okay. So is that an actual? Is it just like a knuckle duster or something? It's, it's a weapon that I'm really probably not supposed to have but because it's in my backstory I've kind of like <laughs> I've yeah it's it interesting in that because <laughs> Will's suddenly thinking oh my backstory was oh, I was yeah. given a million gold <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. and it's, I carry it around in my backpack <laughs> yeah. so it's a, I shouldn't a, normally have it <laughs> it's Is a Teco Kagi <laughs> if that's how you spell it it's teko a what? Kagi. Teco Kagi Right, you've got to keep feeding them. Completely wrong. Yeah. Um, no, it's good. Nice one. Got some backstory there. What? Yeah. Bonus points. <laughs> no bonus if you were in that talent, I'd be stood up for you right now, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> but at the moment, I've got a £400 book on me that I need to like. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that I need to like keep at this page. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm so we've got, we've got AK or Jasmine next then. I'm, I'm just going to nip, nip to the loo. I'll be back in a moment. Working on this. Kyle, get me. I think, are you still working on yours, AK? Uh, yeah, but I can I can show where I'm up to. I'm not going to finish it tonight. I've, I'm still trying to work out some stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, you, you carry on and I'll go next then. So then you can get as much done. Okay. Is that okay? That seems... Oh. Oh, want me to get the... Uh... Yes, Kyle, get on the old screen share. You're focusing. Is yours already open? No, yours is open currently. 
I, I just want to warn everyone, I've got no beautiful backstory like Graham. Edna's still a bit of a <laughs> with her home life. Well, well don't, don't forget that again, there's no pressure on you there, Jasmine, what but the? there'll be times in the adventures where you're probably all sat around a campfire and it'll be a case of, right, one of you might want to explain how you all got here, that kind of thing. Yeah. So you might end up needing something like it. Well, that was that was my plan was to get her to where I'm, I want to be, and then craft off the back of that. Yeah, it's so, a, yeah. Don't 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 worry. Graham's put a lot of effort into his backstory. I, I wouldn't have expected anyone else to have come up with something like that. So, but I, even I, I kind of skimmed over a little bit of it. The the guy he fought with was called Lucan. <laughs> he was an elf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is he dead now? No, no, because no, because he, no. he actually he, he just um, punched punched old uh, Varys to the floor and just took his bow. Right. So so he, again we in your backstory, <laughs> he's he's basically you've set you've set Lucan off on a tangent where he's woke up the next morning and found his bow's been nicked back. So yeah. you never know, Lucan exactly. might turn up at some point. Lucan, yeah, I'm living in Can fear I... of him. Can everyone see that? He wasn't a lord, that? was he? Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Can see that? A lord. He said he wasn't a lord, like Lord Lucan. Ah. Oh. Just some random elven men up on them. Edna. Ooh, surname. We've got a surname. We've got a short surname. We've got old, well, young Edna Brightshield. She's an ancient blooded dwarf. Um, who was a field, field medic, and she is a cleric. Her alignment is lawful good, and the deity she worships is Torag, which is the um, main main dwarven deity, um, and like the father of creation and the god of the forge and so forth. Uh, so because there's a lot of clerics isn't there, in this thing this place we're going and it said that they all of follow a certain deity or a lot of them do yeah um, so you can be in the guide, haven't you? no no it's in the the, the, play, the thing you sent that pit, you know, the, yeah the so yeah the player guide yeah yeah so my anthema, which you'll need to be aware of, Lee, is that I yeah. can't I can't tell a lie or cheat someone, or intentionally create inferior works, or show mercy to the enemies of my people. Ooh. And what that means is, if I do that, um, so if I perform enough of those acts that act as the anthema to my deity. Um, or if my alignment changes to one not allowed by my deity, deity I'll lose the magical abilities that I, I get from that connection to the deity. Um, so the class features that I'll lose are determined by you. Um, yeah. But they likely include my da divine font and divine spellcasting. And the abilities can be only regained if I demonstrate repentance by conducting an atonement ritual right okay. so so that's that's that um so i've gone for quite quite a strength i've gone i've gone for 14 strength um the, uh, 16 constitution and i'm quite and and i've got quite high wisdom at 18 yeah um good. I've got a few questions I'll go down later. So I've got my armor class is 15, and um, my fortitude's quite good, uh, my will's quite good, but my reflex is not really great, and I've got 21 hit points as well. Um, I'm quite perceptive, and I have dark vision as well. Um, so that's quite handy. The thing that I'm having a bit of... Oh, See, I've got minuses in some of my skills though because of the armor I'm wearing, which oh, came, which yeah. came, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know whether to change my armor. That came as part of the cleric, um, 
the cl the cleric kit. So what I did. Armor, what armor did are you trained in? Scroll up. Does it say it somewhere at the top? Oh. You'll have a proficiency for armor. Yeah. Well, would it, uh, I'm trained light, in armor, medium. light, and medium. So <laughs> I don't know whether to. And I've got heavy on as part of the the uh, clerics class. Yeah, yeah. Ch change so, that to medium. So I'm going to change my armor probably, um, and then actually that make my make my unburdened iron thing a bit pointless. So, so you, you you've naturally you get you get a hide armor do you as being a cleric, and is that no. class as heavy armor? Yeah, uh, yes. No, so... it's, hide is medium, I think. I I got that. My fighter, it gave me that as, as the, you know, when you when you do your kit, it put that in there. Uh, yeah. I got splint mail. I got splint mail. All right. Again, it's different from the book, so. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go back and change that, to be honest. Um, it's that it's at proficiency zero, you see. You've got item bonus five, but it says your yeah. armor, armor class, you've got five, but you haven't got anything for proficiency because you, you can't use that armor. Right. Yeah, you're not trained to done. use it, so you don't get any proficiency. That's so my kit, my kit was a bit gash, really. Um, yeah, it's a bit strange that. So what? There's two types of cleric, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, so I'm 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 a war priest. Right. Ah, uh, that might explain it then. Yeah. Um, does that uh, not give you heavy armor? they being a war priest then, does it? War priest is light and medium armor again. Right. I wonder why the kit's giving you splint mail then. I have yeah, no clue. Just... It must be something wrong with the app. I've only just that. So I think I'm gonna go go and change my armor, um, and then that'll redo it because I didn't. I, I, I think I think I need to have a look at my equipment and then just change it because like it's made my acrobatics minus and my athletics. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're getting penalties. So all the armor comes with like a penalty thing, doesn't it? Yeah. If you so, don't meet the requirements. No, so I'm gonna, I've, I'm, I'm gonna change that. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what to, because, but I'll, um, I'll have a look at equipment again, and, and change my armor to something medium. So then that should all just be zero again. Yeah, I'll just see what kind of. Uh... Oh, I'm still on the book, so I'm a bit slower than everyone else. But I'm just seeing what armor there is. For some reason, yeah. I'm looking at that, that one I've got, the, the the hide one. You would you would get it's medium, one isn't one. it? Yeah, you wouldn't get the minuses, and you your armor class would go up by one. But there might be something better than that, because this one I've, it gives you a dex cap of two, but. But as in you've only got 10 decks, you can get something that doesn't need any decks, you know, so you can yeah. take higher on the item side of it. Yeah, uh, splint mail, you need 16 strength for, have you got that? No, no. No, that's probably why they're not strong enough to wear it, uh, and, and you're not proficient in it. What is my strength? My strength is, pl is 14, so... Yeah. But I quite like the way so it's limited, out. Though. Yeah, because I've got strength of fourteen, yeah. constitution sixteen, and wisdom eighteen. So, and and that's how what it recommends to do. But it does say I should have if I what I could either have high strength and uh, sorry high into uh, wisdom and charisma. Um, but then if I had, I, but then because I'm a dwarf, I get minus charisma. So I, I can't really get up to high with the charisma. So I decided to go the other route of strength and constitution, um, as well as wisdom. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. You, you, you've got a good range of stats there. It's just, it seems a bit strange that it's the app's giving you a piece of armor that A, you're not strong enough to wear, and B, you don't have uh, proficiency <laughs> in it. Yeah, so I think the only thing I'm probably gonna be changing with my character is my armor. I don't know why it's give me that. Um, yeah. So I'll put, I'm, I'll be changed to my armor, so that'll all make a bit more sense. Um, as so it goes. Can you use shields? Um. So 
I have. Um, so I'll just I'll just go down. So I am. I'm going to change that unburdened iron as well because I can't use heavy armor anyway. So it seems a bit pointless. Um, yeah, that gives you stuff for heavy armor, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to change that. Um, so I have I have shield block as well. But that's like a free feat. But I've, I've not, I've not, I've not got a shield. Is it, what's your weapon? Is it a one-handed? Uh, my oh, weapon mace, is it? a war hammer. hammer. I've got a war hammer. Is that but, one-handed or two? Um, it is war hammer. Hammer. War hammer. War hammer. Do you need a free hand to casting spells? Is that no? Because I've well, I've got um the 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 the, the vocal spells. I've got and, and I've mainly got cantrips. So um, warhammer's one-handed. War yeah. So so I can use my hand or or, or voice for that. Will you stop messaging me, Mum? Jesus Christ. Um, I've just, I'm just like looking at my phone, trying to like I'm, I'm looking at the app, and my mum's just like blowing my phone up. <laughs> um, it's just photos, though. Every everyone, it's nothing. It's nothing exciting. Um, so yeah. So my spells. So I've got for cantrips. I've got four board, four forbidden ward, which is uh, some verbal, uh, and it it targets one ally and one enemy, and it's up to one minute. And I award against <clears throat> award an ally against the attacks and hostile spells from the target enemy. The target enemy gains a plus one status bonus to armor class and throws against the target's and enemies attack spells and other effects. Um, I've got light, which if we're going in dark places, it's quite a good one um, because yep. what I do is I get one object, so someone can be wearing a hat or something, um, and... And what it does is, until the next time you make your daily preparations, the object glows, casting bright light in a 20-foot radius and dim light for the next 20 feet like a torch. If you cast this spell again on a second object, the light spells... Uh, the light spell on the first object ends. So, like, on one object if, that somebody's wearing... Um, say if they're going ahead of something, they can they can see see better. Yep. Um, I That's have good. divine lance, which is these are these these are my five cantrips. So you unleash a beam of divine energy. Um, so so I choose an alignment. Obviously, my alignments are lawful good, and I can't uh, make. And then I make a ranged spell attack, roll against the target's armor class. On a hit, the target takes damage of the chosen alignment equal to 1d4 and your spell casting ability mod modifier. And it does double damage on a critical hit. And the sp spell gains the trait of the alignment you choose. So that's it. And then I have shield, which is like just you know, raise a magical shield until my next turn. Um, and then I have stabilize as well, which positive energy shuts death's door. The target loses the dying condition, though it remains unconscious at zero hit points. So... so do, do your cantrips work the same way as the druid in that you've got five a day, but you can choose any from the book. Um. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you can uh, cast so as many as you want, but you can only you only have five learned a day. But you yeah, can that's cast right. as many times as you want. Yeah. Uh, that's that's quite a bit different from five A. That. That's... And then I've got three spells. So one of them I get from my deity, which is Torag. Um, and so uh, it targets one willing creature so I link my mind to the target's mind and mentally impart to the target an amount of information in an instant that could otherwise be communicated in 10 minutes so wow, okay. so I can talk 
people um, and disrupting weapons. Um, so it targets up to two weapons, each of which must be wielded by you or a willing ally or else unattended. And I infuse the weapons with positive energy and attacks with these weapons deal an extra D1 at 1D for positive damage to the undead. And then I yep. have heal as well, because 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 um, because of uh, I, I, get, I get heal as well, um, and that obviously targets one willing living creature or one dead undead te- uh, undead. Um, well, everyone knows what heal is because we've used it before. So, so <laughs> yep. yeah, so yeah, so I've got heal as well. Um, so they're my sk- they're my spells. Um, my gear I'm resorting. Um, I've got a war hammer and I'm trained in that as well because um, Torag is my deity and he... His favoured weapon, isn't it? That's his favoured weapon. And I think that's about it for me because I'm about to change my armour and my... Um, and then that'll just improve my skills. Yeah. yeah. Did you say you're going to change your bird and dying as well? Yes, and I'm going yeah. to change them bird and iron as well. Oh. Yeah, I mean, if you've got the book, uh, what page have I just been looking at? There's a page in the book that tells you the armors. It's page 275. If you look under medium armor, yeah. there's hide, scale mail, chain mail, and breastplate. But the last two require 16 strength, which you don't have. So you've got, you've got the option between hide and scale mail. One's leather, one's composite. Is that scale mail? Or is that the noisy one? Um, noisy no, it's chain mail's. Chain it's mail. flexible and noisy. <laughs> Sorry, which page was it? Two seven five. Two seven five. I was just on a little. Seven. Yeah, it's just a little table at the top. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So you- you might switch it to one of them and you might find all your negatives at least go to zero or one. Yeah, I'll change it now. Yeah. Anyway, so, so, yes, and I'll change unburdened iron as well to something else. Well, again, so, oh. Bect, if you've got two spells, you can pick any two each day from your list of spells. Yeah. In, in the book. Okay. Am I, am I, do you think I can afford a second weapon as well, can't I? So I can get like a clan dagger. I think I'll do that. Anyway, yes, that's me. I'm going yeah, to change my good clan daggers. Do you not get one anyway, being a dwarf? I read that somewhere. Yeah, I think, yes, you do. Sorry, you do. Pretty sure you do. They've got, they've got a, uh, it's not block, is it? What they're called? Um, parry. parry. Yeah. 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 So if you don't need a free hand, you could stick that dagger in your other hand and you can raise it for, for parry. Gives you a bit of one, one AC. Because yeah. I can get Clan's Edge as well, um, which means I'm trained in Clan Daggers. Uh, and I can make two Clan Dagger strikes against different targets. Alright, that's good. So I think I'm going to go for that now. I haven't changed my armour and I think that's me done, apart from my backstory. Yeah, like I say, I mean, I, I don't think you will ever get to a point where we'll just say, right, everyone sits down and explains their entire backstory. But there yeah. might be bits that you want to you want to mention. Yeah. You know, for instance, you might you might have a natural uh, fear of water as part of your backstory, and you don't mention anything until somehow you get forced that we've got to swim through this bit, and all of a sudden you say, well, actually, I don't I don't want to. that. <laughs> And books that will we were talking about a few weeks ago. What was it? Uh, Tunnels and trolls. No, oh, the the, 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 books, books, books. the woman writer. We'll, we'll go to the picture of it. Did I? <laughs> that one woman writer. Wow, oh, the books at Lee. Yeah. Tracy Hickman. Tra- Tracy. I think Tracy Hickman's yeah, it's a man. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
But, but there, I'll, I'll just, um, yeah, that, that's got a guy in there in the book one, isn't it, who's really a scared, scared of water? Yeah, but you, again, depends on your backstory. You can have someone who was injured in a in a fire and they've got a scarred arm, for instance, and they're, they're, they're afraid of fire and that kind of stuff. Well, no, that's good. Thanks, Jasmine. Oh, no worries. So we've just got AK left now. Right. <laughs> right. Fuck diplomacy. Right. Fuck diplomacy. <laughs> I was like, I'd, I'd been having a discussion with Graham about uh, the same day, the day before, and we said, I think a lot of this adventure path isn't necessarily just going out and hitting things. Sometimes you might have to work out puzzles or or talk to people. So or we you could saying, just smash the puzzle up. <laughs> we could just do that. Made yeah. straight. Just take the wall out. Yeah. In the way, you know what I mean? <laughs> you sure you're going for the right class? <laughs> <laughs> Barbarian <laughs> sounds like a... Uh, right. Uh... <coughs> Can you see that? So, so I, I don't know that you, you heard before, Lee. I, I, I've got an iPhone. I can't use that app that everybody else is using. So I've used this website, oh, right. but I don't think it's worked right. It's, it's pretty good, this website. It's not bad. But it is a little bit... Some things seem to be in a bit of a strange order, I, I sort of thought, when I was going through it. So it didn't, al it didn't allow me to add the four... Um, the, the four yeah. You know, get four ability score boosts. Yeah. It didn't I allow found me to that on the tab. It was there was there was something and there, but it was like a, a, you know, it was like a tab. So as you're going through it, because I missed that at first. Well, I couldn't see it. What yeah. what those you tabs might, there that you've got? Like, I think it will be there. You know details. the four four extra ones you get to just put against any anything you want. So I I just added it here. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, look at that, Guns and Gears. That's the new thing that came out yesterday, was it? Oh, yeah. the Gunslinger, the inventor. Yeah. Wow. Because I don't think that's been added to the app yet. Well, they're really keeping this up to date. It is slow, though, isn't it? It is slow. Right, so I'm a halfling. Um. Little Hobbit says... Uh, I've got keen eyes. Um, I've got boost to wisdom, dexterity, and intelligence, which is my free one. And then my floor is strength. Uh, I'm a nomadic halfling, which gives me two extra languages. I've taken draconic, which is always useful, and shadow tongue. And I've just read. I've just. I chose draconic, and I've just read the player guide, and it says yep. draconic might be useful. So I was like, yeah, yes. well, draconic is always useful because there's always a dragon. <laughs> there is uh, in Dungeons and Dragons, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it is uh, in the player guide, though, isn't it? It mentions something about. about it. So I've got yeah. halfling luck once a day. Lovely. If I fail a skill check, my happy-go-lucky nature makes it seem like misfortune avoids me, and to an extent that might even be true. You can reroll the trickery and check, but you must use the new result, even if it's worse than your first roll. So that's my. That's, that's quite my... good because you can. You can use a hero point for that, and it's exactly the same. So you basically get a free hero point a day. Yeah. Um, so my background is no one. I'm a nomadic halfling, and my background is nomad. So I get um, two more ability boosts, which I've chosen: con and intelligence. Um, you're trained in a, in the survival skill and a law skill related to one terrain you travel. Oh, terrain you travelled in. So I can't choose Dragon Law, so I'll have to choose something else. I'll have to have a look at that in a bit. Uh, at the list of skills. So, the, the law skill I'll have to change. Yeah. Um... Sorry, I'm just writing down notes. The wizard. That's right. Uh, so I'm a wizard. Uh... get loads of skills uh, you're already trained in Arcana which means you get to select a new skill to become trained in instead so I've chosen Diplomacy for some reason I don't understand why 
Uh, I don't <laughs> understand why the, where the Arcana Arcana's come from already. I, I don't really understand that. Um, it might be just. A, is it not just because you're a wizard, you naturally get Arcana? Yeah, but I thought that's what this is. I thought this that's what this is saying. This is the, the wizard. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I don't. I don't really. I, don't, it says I might there. have to go through this. It says there, again. doesn't it? Skills trained in Arcana. You're already Arcana. trained in Arcana. Yeah, yeah but then it's says... giving me. Then it says you're already trained in Arcana, which means you get to select a new skill. So I don't understand what's happened there. Yeah, and you've, uh, cho you've chosen dis diplomacy. Yeah. You must have already selected it for something else. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't really understand. Uh, so I'm trained in club, crossbow, dagger, heavy crossbow, and staff. Um. Training fortitude, training reflex, expert in will. Um, oh. I get. <laughs> you <want? laughs> um, <laughs> Have you looked at the mobility boots there? What are them? Oh, oh, bottom, your bottom there. there, there you know, well there. done. I, well done. Right, so I might go back through this. Um, so. Uh, Arcane Bond, you place some of your magical power in a bonded item each day when you prepare your spells. You can designate a single item you own as your bonded item. Um, and then you get the drain bonded item free action. Um, you get you gain the ability to cast one spell you prepared today and already cast without spending a spell slot. So it's like you can, you can double up a spell. Yeah, so you can have a ring and say I'm going to put magic missile in this. And then throughout the day, you can drain that and use it. You don't even need to do that. You don't even need to say in advance what spell. It It just says, each day when you prepare your spells, you designate a, an item as your bonded item. And then All right, when okay. you expend the power, you gain the ability to spe cast one spell you prepared today and already cast without spending a spell slot. So it can be any of them. Any of your prepared spells. Right. Yeah. Uh. Arcane school. Uh, I've chosen evocation. Is that the blowy up stuff one? Obviously, yeah. standard. <laughs> and then, um, so I get an additional spell. I get an additional evocation spell. Um, I, my focus spell is uh, force bolt. Force bolt. You fire an unerring, an unerring dart of force from your fingertips, like so. Uh, it's oh, yes. automatically hits and deals. Uh, automatically hits and deals one d four plus one force damage to the tar target. Oh, so, right. uh, and then if every every two levels, uh, the damage increases by one d four plus one. But that's every oh. two levels of heightening. So I don't think it. Gets and and the the heightened level is your current level divided by two rounded up. So, um, I think the damage doesn't increase until level five. I think might be wrong. That that's, sounds like that D and D spell, doesn't it? That really what, mag magic, magic, that's magic missiles. Well, uh, I've got that as well. All oh, right. So that's so. Yeah. What's the difference then? Uh, I don't know. Um, I think this one. This one just does more damage, but in magic missile, you could you could aim your, your missiles to different targets, couldn't you? And there's you more could, than one. Yeah, so three. As yeah. the level goes up with this, it gets stronger. As the level goes up with magic missiles, you get more magic missiles. Uh, yeah. Um. So I get um I get an extra first level evocation spell in my spell book, and I get an extra spell slot for each level of spell that I can cast, just for evocation spells. Uh, oh, and I can prepare an extra evocation cantrip actually, so I get six cantrips. There you go. Um, arcane oh. spell casting, blah 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 stuff. Um, I become trained in arcane spell attacks, trained in arcane spell DCs. So my arcane thesis. Uh, so you've got to choose an arcane thesis as a wizard. Mine is um, the st the staff nexus. Uh, and my thesis maintains that early and intense adoption of staves from the first days of study can create a symbiotic bond between spellcaster and staff. Basically, it's another way of storing spells. So I can store a cantrip and a first level spell inside my staff. Oh. <laughs> I must expend a spell slot to grant it charges in the same way you would add additional charges to a normal staff. 
Uh, I don't really know what that means. Um, but yeah, I'll look into that. I'm not, I'm not sure whether I have to learn the spells overnight, then cast the spells into the staff, in which case they're lost for that day, but then they stay in that staff for, for more days. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll have to have a look at that, yeah. Yeah, so I need to look into that. Oh, it's good, and though. Drain bonding that item from my Class, wizardness. Yeah. Uh, see, in the, the, their abilities, I don't know where they go on the character sheet. I, I printed one out, I was trying to fill it manually. But there are so many different types of feats, it's just it's like impossible to work out what goes where. That's yeah. why so you need to get an Android phone and use the path builder app. Special, Special first level, heritage first level, feature feat first level. Then there's a, a background skill feat, and then there's on the class feats there's feature first, feature first, and feat first. And I don't know which of these four. But here I've got four level one abilities, and there's no thing for abilities on here. Um, what where? where might, do you know what I mean? It might be worth asking either Will or Graham or Kyle etc. to. Create your character in their app, well, and then the export it, it is, for it you. It is really good. Cool. Into the full app as well. Yeah, I bought it. I, cra I caved and just bought it earlier. Flipping. You but know, yes, it's lost it's... if anybody was interested. No. Nope. What's, yeah. what's it? It's called Path Builder, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yes. it's really yeah. good because it it'll let you along the let you add your feats and your skills in where they need to, where they should be added, and it'll give you a list of ones that are available to you. So. It's yeah. really, really quick just to go, here's what you can have, which one do you want, and you can view it, click on it to see the information and then just add the one you want. So even if you just pick up like it, I mean, I've got the spare Android phone knocking around, or you could probably use on Android tablets as well. It's just it's just a, a pain in the arse that having to yeah. have an extra it's, phone just to do that one bloody thing. <laughs> I yeah, think once it's, it's really, done. really bad how it's not not on uh, Apple as well. They just don't seem to, I don't know. I'm sure D&D uh, &D would be on both. Yeah. Feels like... Well, it's not an official app. Why would you create it? Yeah, I think it's... I think it's... I thought I read it was like, you know, an, an official app. No, is it? No, oh, yeah. No, I don't know. No. It's... That website uh, that I was looking at is the same. Anyway, but... And whoever it is, you would think, why? Why would you just make it for one these days? You know. That DM here I was linked you sent through, Carl, is is really funny. I just, I just click randomly a half elf hero, and it's given me an image that looks a bit like uh, Harry Potter, but with blonde curly hair and pointy <laughs> ears. And he said, male health courier. Ooh, you are terrible, but I like you. And his <laughs> traits are... His traits are... He boasts about their genitalia, chews on licorice, and is reading a book on how yes. to win friends. <laughs> but it's good to get a random um, portrait if you want yeah. one for you. You can actually it's add it in the app. You can add it. There's a thing. Alright, well, oh, okay. Ten. Ten. <laughs> Oh yeah, see three yeah. year old Just five foot eleven. Uh, three foot eleven. Oh, it hits the top knot. Probably not. I no longer have negative skills, everybody. Yeah. Ah, it's worked. Yeah. But but also with this that I've gone for light armor instead because I get a speed reduction if I get medium armor. But then I don't get it if I still choose back. But then I'm, I don't know whether to get a clan's dagger and be proficient in it. Oh. No. Oh. What a choice. Choices, choices. Oh, I like to see Mage Hand. That was one I always picked. I used to love, love I wanted to. Don't think it ever so came you could in move things. Want... No, it's, yeah. you, it's like you create uh, like a Adam's family hand that can wander off and do things. All <laughs> uh, right. It's, ma it's mainly used for inappropriate things in girls' changing rooms, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Opening doors from across the room. That's just it can't no, do. Know. It's not very strong, is it? But it can it can do stuff. 
There used to be a spell in EverQuest called Eye of Zom, and you summoned yeah. a, a floating eyeball that you could see through, and yeah. then you could control it, and you'd be playing the game, and all of a sudden, like, three eyeballs had gone straight past you down the corridor and through a door, and it's like, oh, there's a, a wizard knocking about trying to see what mobs are up in that room. It's quite interesting to watch. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's a similar one for shamans in WoW. And we can see you. <laughs> Is that Emily? No, no it was Finn. Just on the edge of the picture. Yeah. They're saying they can see you. <laughs> Still there laughing. <laughs> yeah. I think we could see Jack playing Call of Duty as well in the background. No, that was Nicky. <laughs> that was it, Nicky. Yeah. I could see, see Tom playing Call of Duty on the yeah, telly. Call, Call of Duty on monitor. All right. <laughs> So, in terms in terms of AK, then is someone able to help him, or do we think he'll be all right with the uh, the the tool he's got? I don't know. It's probably worth running through that. Yeah. Through the app. So someone could come round with the phone and sit <laughs> sit outside, and I'll open the window <laughs> to the front room, and I'll sit inside, and we can talk to each other through the window, and you can put the phone up to the window like that. Points into what you are. Covid secure. See, there is a website, but I can't see. It doesn't seem to do anything. Can you export from that website you're on there, AK? Can you export your character sheet? No. Oh. No. Why would they not do that? Which is a massive pain in the bottom. Yeah, you'd think you'd be able to export it somehow, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, in terms of your your spells and the, the the basics of your character, you've got them there. But it's things like your abilities and stuff, isn't it? It doesn't quite yeah, explain what they all are. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'll have a look around. And see if I've got a, at least I've got a sort of most of a character now, so I can just repeat what I've done in this one in a different one if I play around and try. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I can. I've, I've not got anything Android. I've just got uh, the works phone, which is Apple. Yeah. That, that app as well, it's not official, it's actually just written by some guy. Yeah, it said, that I, I think I read something about the Beanham, um, what should we call Path Builder. Yeah. yeah there's an FAQ page and it's just like, who, who wrote it? And he's like, I did. <laughs> if, if only we knew some developers yeah, just could one write guy. something similar and is sell it, it. Is, is it the one guy that does he not work for, for them though? <laughs> path Builder is it the one guy that's written the whole game. of Pathfinder? <laughs> It runs under the open game license. This means it, that it cannot use any PF RPG product identity material, such as places, characters, and deities. If you find any items in the app which violate this, please report it via the app report problem function. What? Yeah. Oh, you can use an Android emulator to run Path oh, yeah, on a PC. Oh, yeah, Visual Studio. Do I give enough it? of a, a, a pill to do that? Who, who knows? That's a good it might be easy to just fill in the sheet. You what? It might be easy to just fill in the sheet at that point. Yeah, no, but that's but the thing. Easy, stop, Android stop, stop trying to do that. But when you start trying to get your feet in and stuff, it's just it's just like yeah, I don't want to know what goes where is ridiculous. Yeah. I was I was I was really highly stressed the first week I tried to do one of those. Yeah, 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 it's worth getting the Android emulator. Just even if you just do that and then write it out afterwards, because it is so helpful compared to trying to write all that empty, doesn't yeah. it? Is that what is that what happened to Matt? He probably he is. didn't have Android, so he just couldn't. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, probably is. Well, the thing yeah. is, there's there's enough characters now for like if one week you you're not up to it. You can just say, you know, can't exactly. be out tonight, and the other four, yeah, so, or three um, or four characters uh, can carry on. And, and the other thing that I find difficult is it is is it not moving quick enough, and me getting distracted in between turns because it takes, you know, forty five minutes to go around everybody taking their attack actions. Do you, yeah. do you know what I mean? Which uh, you know, that, that, it's nobody's fault. It's just how it is. But hopefully, that's yeah. Better. That that should get better as we get used to it. It's like any game, once you've been playing a while, it's everything, the turns get a bit quicker, don't they? Well, you would think, but when I was playing it in London, it never did. 
if, any, if anything that turns out longer is people arguing about more and more esoteric minutiae. Like, what? you know. Yeah, that's what we don't want to do. We don't want to go down the route of what's... But hold on, you said you were carrying your shield two minutes ago. How can you take cover there and, and all that kind of stuff? I don't, want to, I don't want us to get bogged down in all that. Yeah, yeah, it's that's supposed to be fun, isn't it? There's no point. If you're not enjoying it, there's no point doing it. Yeah. Okay. So it is 10 to 10. Does everybody's camera look very clear to themselves? Uh, mine doesn't look very clear to myself. My camera's showing. And, and also, the camera's not straight, but you can make the camera look straight by straightening this. <laughs> like unstraightening that, no, the other way. No, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Apart from your printer. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, yeah. I'm saying the, the printer. Let's see, see, now it looks like the camera's straight. Yeah. Because the thing behind me is straight. But if I took a picture of it. It's like skew with. That's, that's quite... <laughs> Apart from your plug socket, now we can see it. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm, mo I'm mostly blocking it. Um, I need an extension camera for my uh, extension cable for my webcam, which I've got somewhere. It's, bur it's buried somewhere. It didn't. It got buried in the move from London. So I don't know why I'm telling you that. Just you know. <laughs> right. Well, I think we've covered everything we wanted to cover. Um, yeah. Does anybody know the rules and how to play? No. <laughs> no. Like I say, the the first book um, is a hundred pages, so I've got some reading to do between now and Wednesday. And some setting up of tabletop simulator. Some setting up of tell. Yeah, that's my only concern is that we reach a point where I just can't replicate the map. But it we'll, doesn't, uh, we'll it doesn't. Well, I, I watched the thing online and they weren't using a table or a board or anything. It was all spoken. Yeah. That's why I've always done it. Theater of the mind. Yeah, the problem with that is you're not marking your distance of how far you're traveling and things like that. It's more like, yeah. it's like those guys off the BuzzFeed thingy. You know, they the, yeah. did that D&D. That was very, that wasn't, you know, that, that they didn't measure the speed or the distance that they travelled or specific weapons. It was just like, what do you want to do? I want to do this. Oh, roll the dice. Yes, you passed or yes, you failed. You know, this is more detail, but... But no, I mean... But no, I watched... It was, it was, by, it was by Stephen Randley, I'm pretty sure. It was like his video and he wasn't using a board. He made the game, made the game. Yeah. It's just not... I'm not... I, I do know from what from what I've read of the first book, there's, there's certainly a bit where you all need to visualise something correctly together. Right. Um, Have you looked on that Roll Twenty website though? Because we, that's like a, a whiteboard that you just draw on, and you can add you can add scenery to it as well. But you just draw on it and you say, right, you're here. The mobs here. Yeah, and you can just have to rather, have a look into that. Yeah, I'm just trying to think because you don't want to yeah. be spending hours a week designing these. You don't want to give away a second job, do we? No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the other option is I just use the flat tiles and we just look at the map, sort of looking down on it. That's you know, what we do with descent. Well, descent was a bit more 3D with doors, but basically just use the tiles. It just yeah. It doesn't need to be as elaborate as what you've done for the last one. No. No. I did enjoy doing well, that. Well, they were amazing. Down. Yeah, it was, it was fun to do, but like oh, say, it's sometimes good. it was taking me four or five hours just to set up the map. Maybe That's just like do that. Yeah, just do that yeah. say, rather than like, we're not expecting that every week. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you're working, it's you've not got time to be doing that all the time. <laughs> so, uh, it's... No. Hey, okay, should do it. He's got nothing better to do. Hey! <laughs> He's not biting. No. I'm oh, totally not biting now. <laughs> he knows it's true, that's why. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think, like I say, we'll start next week. We'll see how we get on. We'll, uh, we'll work through some rules as we go along. 
and uh, see how we get on. But like AK said, I don't want us to get bogged down literally into um, the, the, the depths of the rules on every encounter for every character because I think it'll just it will just uh, solve us all down. Well, one, one of the first things it says in the rule book is it's up to you. <laughs> the rules are up to you. Yeah, it's up to us, isn't it? Yeah, we do it. So the the, um, the, the, the danger is with having physical maps is you can spend ages <laughs> working on positioning when it's 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 not really that important to the flow. What's important yeah. is the position it, that you you're sort of walking around in normally and the position whenever you encounter something. Or, you know, wait, but like have it you know, like moving every turn can be quite. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's one of the things. The exploration mode, we just need to speed up rather than say, "What are you doing?" I'm going to search over here. I'm going to search over there. I think we just say, you know, you spend X amount of minutes searching, and you found this. You haven't found anything, and you've you've hurt your foot on a rusty nail. Yeah, you weren't thinking of doing maps for that side of it, though, were you? No, no. That's that is just going to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the only bit that, that you want to sort of map out, isn't it? Though? Yeah. The only thing that, I, that I've got to have a think about is how we manage the bits around the city. Um, I might just have to sort of share my screen of that particular map because the city is like a big place. And I, I can't I can't build the map of the city anywhere because a I don't know where you guys are going to go to you might so we're going to go to the, the tavern and it's like oh okay um, yeah you're in the tavern just just you know. share your screen yeah yeah we did that in, in 5A he just had he just had a, obviously we were at a table we weren't playing it remotely but he just had a big map he just stuck it out on the table yeah he just went wherever. So if you just put it on the screen... We didn't have anything though, did we? We were using like pencils, no, we didn't, maps and stuff. We didn't, when I played 5e <laughs> on Venture League, that was Pathfinder, what we played. That, that was, was it. There you go. Pathfinder 1. Was it? Yeah. Oh, right. There you go. Didn't know. I didn't know that. I thought it was 5e. Yeah, I was saying this the other day because I thought you'd said it and I was like, have you played 5e? Was it not 5e? Was it Pathfinder? Yeah. 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 What we played with... Um, with Tom. from the game shop, mm, Tom, yeah. yeah. That's Pathfinder 1. Oh, all right. You, you think, think I've known that better? I thought I'm doing a bit more then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just different. It's just different, isn't it? It's five here anyway. But yeah, but we, it's just a bit, we had a big map of Waterdeep and you just like laid it out on the table. We just said, well, we'll go there, we'll go to that pub. They completely made up as we went along though, didn't they? There was no, it wasn't a set. Oh, Tom did, yeah. yeah Tom he had, he had his book of... The, of the mind, wasn't it? And, yeah. But I'm saying up. We played Adventure League, which was, you know, like, oh, it was like from yeah. what, a book. What this is, it was, but it was D and D, so it was like, uh, you know, water deep, the main city, and they just like just put the thing out. And there was a place where we could go and gamble, so we kept on going in there, we're gambling, <laughs> losing, all, losing all your gold. There is, yeah, there's loads of maps you can download as well, isn't there? That people have designed. So in theory, if you yeah. You know, if it's not specific, you could just use one of those, I suppose. But yeah, if there's one I'm, the I'm book, sure we'll be fine. Yeah. Like I say, the, the only the only bit that, that's going to catch us out or catch me out is, like I say, places like the city where I've no idea where we're going to end up. You know, it's at that point, it's up to you guys to choose where you go. So I can't oh. have anything prepared as such. I, I, I wouldn't underestimate it, Lee. You know, you'll, you'll read the first 10, 20 pages of the adventure and prepare for that. And then what we'll do is we'll sidestep the whole thing and just go off <laughs> down somebody. Yeah. Right and alley that. and go and start, you know. Yeah. Battering donkeys or There's something, whatever looks interesting at the time. Will might decide to start, you know, trying it on with a with a innkeeper's daughter. That's quite a common one. Yeah, I can, I can go for a week. So then, uh, or set the landlord and he comes after him, chasing him, and then we have to run away and hide. And it turns out, <laughs> you know, the landlord is a, a high level necromancer, uh, just retired, and then you know he's coming to an army of which you know. Yeah, I can imagine all of that book? happening. <laughs> Some of the last time he played. <laughs> I say, yeah, I say, I'm saying Will's going to do that. It's blatantly me that's going to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blatantly. <laughs> yeah. 
just gonna just they, 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 they do actually cover some of the things in the adventure so what happens if the adventurers decide to kill this person that kind of thing it is interesting so, yeah. reading the, the guides and to think of all the eventualities they've thought of that yeah and yeah. They, they still don't think of all of them no and that's part of the fun isn't it you never know you never know whether someone's going to fist the taxidermic dog to death. <laughs> <laughs> no, that certainly wasn't mentioned. Yeah, or the evil, the evil wizard as his eyes pecked out by wee wee pecker. <laughs> so, so funny enough, I actually looked up what Belfair might mean in other languages, and in Hindi, the word Belfair means to have sore and bleary eyes. No way, really? <laughs> yeah. That's weird, that. And we've got yeah. Graham's character, Varys, is... Uh, I know it's not, but I'll keep picturing that guy out of Game of Thrones now. Uh, he was called Varys, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. but he spelled yeah. his Y, not an I. That's true, yeah. yeah. Oh, and there uh, you go. AK's character's called, is it Elias? I Elias. Elias, all right, because I, I used to have an uncle, Elias, so that was uh, that's quite interesting as well. Yeah, it's quite a hobbity name as well. I like it. I, I used I used yeah. a hobbity name generating website. All oh, right, nice. Top, Top ten, 10 hobbity names of two thousand and ten. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's, it's where you... it's where I get all my World of Warcraft names from. Yeah, very yeah. good. So we just got Will now to come up with. Uh, a really in-depth name that is really thought about. Well, I've got, I've got my rogue name, that's Rumbleton. Uh, but I just, <laughs> if I go on Swashbuckler, I just need to come up with a name for that. Rumble I really like a backstory with a fall from grace and capsing of ships and... Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, it'd that. just be Rumbleton Yar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rumble oh, yeah. Rumbleton. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it could be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll come I, I did go you through a phase on... Phrase. Your motto could be, when you take down a mob with your fancy rapier, you could be like, you've been rumbled. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> that's um, sure that's not going to be a panache thing. I know, I was going to be great. <laughs> yeah. You can roll that. panache, but if you're doing that, it's minus 10. <laughs> There's no panache involved there. Um, right, well, if, if everyone's happy, I'll let you all go. I've got some reading to do between now and Wednesday, half seven, is that right? You don't Monday. need to. Was, was it Wednesday? Was it Monday? I can't remember. It was Wednesday right. next week. Right. And then Monday's Wednesday after, week. wasn't it? Monday after that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sorry again, everybody. No, that's fine. And no I, I think, again, it, I, I, it, I'm not actually talking about this exclusively with Graham behind everyone's back. It's just that I speak with Graham every day at work. And one of the things we're chatting about was really if some people work. can't, yeah, if some people can't make it, we'll just carry on with whoever we've got and we'll just adjust it accordingly. Because it's rather than say, oh yeah, um, we'll can't make it, so we'll not bother this week. It'll just be a case of, unless we've got two or three of you that can't make it, we'll just carry on playing and we'll just uh, have their characters yeah, I think, I think as long as you've got, got two, two people, people, be it, you know, like. Can't just together, or you know, yeah. Yeah, great. Well, I think as long as you've got two heroes, then it should go ahead. Yeah. And, and yeah, she said just tweak it accordingly because that's the beauty. Yeah. You can do that, can't you? So. Yeah. And and in terms of experience, we'll just hand out the same speeds to everybody, whether you've been there or not. And that way, you don't find that you've rather not being three weeks, you don't find you suddenly level lower. Mm, yeah. Everybody else. The uh, next P gets you a level regardless of your class. So you all level at the same time. How do you earn XP? Is it killing mobs? Uh, killing mobs. Um, in, some, in some adventures I've read, you get more more experience points for not killing the mobs if you pass them, etc. Um, but yeah, that's never going to happen, I can tell. <laughs> uh, Not with so yeah, uh, you can get XP, additional XP for doing heroic acts. But what what I thought about that was is what you might find is that people just start out leveling other people. Um, so it may well be that if you do a heroic act, and the book says if so and so does this, they'll get an extra two hundred XP. 
I'll just split it between all the characters in the party rather than just give it to one particular character. Uh, you guys won't know. I'll just add it to the total XP for the, the fight. But um, rather than, you know, for instance, if you're the cleric, um, your job is to stand there and heal people. It's not necessarily to run into battle and sacrifice yourself for the party. So, you know, it's, it's sometimes easier for certain classes to to do heroic things than unless others. Unless you're a war you know, priest. Sorry. Unless you're a war priest with a clan dagger, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And, and, a war, and, and a war hammer. Yes. And I'm, I'm also slightly concerned that, that Graham's let it be known that he's got a fist weapon in his bag and someone's got previous. <laughs> and, uh... So... <laughs> <laughs> It better not be yeah. going missing. Can see it's, 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 got like, it's, like, it's like Wolverine. It's got, you know, like four... four no. like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll let you guys go then. It's 10 o'clock. Super, good timing. Speak to you next week, if not before. Speak to you soon. Excellent. Right, see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye.